Welcome back, we're continuing off, it's 2 in the morning and we're recovering from our 16 hour stream yesterday. We had a few hours sleep, back to the grind. We are currently on 71% of the hot lap challenges and uh, that's about 36% of 36.9% of the entire game. Day six, I think it is, or day five. I don't know. We kind of did two days. Day five ish. <laughs> we did we did multiple days. I'm dazed. Uh, we did multiple days. It, it doesn't stop. It's uh, this is dedication. Now my body hurts quite a bit, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought we were going to not be able to do anything today. I thought I was just going to be lying in a coma. <laughs> But uh, we're actually not too bad. So uh, we've got tea. I've just had a, I had a cappuccino and I had a pancake, a banana pancake, a huge banana pancake. So that's just egg and banana for those of you wondering how you make a banana. How do you make a banana pancake? You get egg and you get a banana and you mash them together. It's actually quite good. Hello, Novotny. Rotate the shoulders. <laughs> Washed, Tom Bland. I don't see you doing 100% in this. I, I, I don't think you could, to be honest. I don't think you could cope with the variety. You, you, you'd be like, oh, I don't understand what's going on. What's all these different cars? I can only drive a Ford Mondeo. Uh. We've got the Nordschleifer again. Hello, hello, uh, Chad. Oh, yeah, also, we now have the challenge sponsor wall. Check this out. For for people that have supported us or support us during this challenge with more than five, five dollars. I lost my month streak. Oh. Seven plus seven equals 15 less than greater than. <laughs> Thank you very much, Burbs. Yeah, you could also become a member if you want to like that. That's a really bad idea. Really appreciate that. Um, don't get adverts if you become a member. That's always good. Who wants adverts? I don't. I hate adverts. Put this out. Let's put this here. My my uh, streaming PC is absolutely dying. I need to. We need to upgrade the streaming PC. But yeah, we'll leave that there. Perfect. Same five tracks. Well, it's not, is it? It's all the tracks in AC. So we need to get, currently we've got, we've got to get a 720 on the Nordschleifer. Nordschleifer! That's where we're at. Um, I don't know if this is, if our brain would have absorbed this overnight. Probably not. Your, your face is the same five tracks. <laughs> your comments are the same five comments. <laughs> Tom Bland, Tom Bland is such a noob. Biggest noob in sim racing. If you Google noob, it comes up with Tom Bland. It's just his face. Look, no, it's not that small. It's like fifteen tracks. How many tracks do you need? That's a lot more than that would cost you like five hundred pounds in iRacing. Hello, review for YouTube. Right below James U UK West. Excuse me. Don't don't uh, dead name me. UK West. <laughs> UK West. <laughs> UK West. That's my DJ name, UK West. Review for your tubes got his rig set up. Nice. He's got his rig. He's got his rig set up. His review for the tube. He's on the London Underground. He's built a T Stock Sim Ring on the Bakerloo line. He has no internet. I built a Sim Ring on the Underground. I'm lapping Nords under the city. Why have I done this? I do not know. But I am sim racing, don't you know? Review for the tube. <laughs> Review for the tube. The auto tube breaks on this, it's quite funny. 
Every time the train stops People look at me in my sim ring And they say, what are you doing? I turn around and say to them I'm driving a Seto Corsa on my sim ring Review for the tube He likes a giant big fat boob Review for the tube He likes tubular things <laughs> He doesn't like a juicy boob Nice apex is plenty, super nice uh, You got a G2 Omega, nice We should feel special We're all special here Right It's a stream for the most special people as always We don't have a setup for this car I don't think, or maybe we do Absolute fast my mum said this, we replied to this comment, so I made a comment on the setup and my mum said this is good and I replied with, your mum said I was good, oh, I'll put goof, because it misspelled it, well that didn't work did it, terrible joke. Uh, we were using this, we've got, we've got a setup and then we're going to, it's all about making the car tight. Tight, tight driving, ready. What's the end goal? To be the first ever person to 100% complete Seto Corsa in its entirety. Like, everything is gold. Everything is perfect. 100%. Every Steam achievement of a Seto Corsa. I don't think anyone's ever done it. You know? I don't think nobody's done it. Nobody's dared to take on this challenge. But here I am. A legend, a veritable legend of sim racing. 5k I racer, destroyer of Tom Bland, champion of the world, most um, most liked sim racer by hot German women, gamer muscle. I don't like Cabbage Cream Eggs. <laughs> First time I ever got off with a girl was after eating a Cabbage Cream Egg. <laughs> How random is that? Apparently it's the way to a woman's heart. They were a lot bigger then. You have one Cabbage Cream Egg and you're, you're a diabetic. So, now they're tiny. I don't, I, I don't think I like them. I don't women or cream eggs. <laughs> I don't think I like them. Ah, women are all right. I let I let women go, but cream eggs. Yeah, that was that was uh, last weekend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was back. It was back when the world was black. At, when when the world was black and white and simple. It was before I had. Uh, that was back when I had. Uh, Windows 95. <laughs> I know, maybe, maybe I had Windows, maybe I had Windows 98. Can't remember. That's how I know, I, that's how I do time in the world, based off which version of Windows I had. It's the most sensible way of working out time. <laughs> the second kiss. <laughs> oh, that'd be so funny. We, I've never kissed a German woman. Never. Well, I've been kissed by German women. This is the goal. They just uh, they just attack you, you know, German women. Can't they're dangerous. <laughs> that Tom Tom Bland is uh, he's a public uh, erection. Right, where, where are we going with this? 
you put a tent up in public, is that a public um, er erection? P pitching a tent. Oh dear. You grew up in a time where everything was 1995 plus shipping and handling. I grew up in a time when the internet didn't exist. It was a sad time. A review for the tube because it's not a very good simulator. That's why. Same as Gran Turismo. Let's go. This is ultimate dedication. This is for the fans. This is for the... This is for the cultured sim racers that understand what a good simulator is. There's a lot of sim races out there that sadly will never know. They've been brainwashed into uh, terrible physics and they'll, they'll, they never know. They will just never know. It's really sad. We call them uh, BMW drivers. <laughs> it's like people that never used... Uh, it's like people have never completed Half-Life 1. They'll never know. Can you imagine? Do you know what? I've spent more time driving cars in a simulator this week than I have not. <laughs> this is now my natural habitat. The sim rig. The, the chair's actually glued to my bottom. from my left hand because it's falling off my knees actually recovered overnight that's good my knee was hurting so bad yesterday <laughs> my knee was like please don't put any pressure on me I don't want any pressure it's all right now Knees, yeah, my knees, are, my left knee's really bad normally. My right knee's all right. My so weirdly, I have, I have like hip issues with my right hip. I mean, knee issues with my left knee. <laughs> I used to like, I don't know. I think I've like a weird joint thing because uh, I broke my, I broke my left wrist once, and that took like 13 years to get better. <laughs> <laughs> to stop to stop aching every day it's crazy let's see what time we get here in the morning have I consolidated the uh, has my brain absorbed the Schleifer I hope everyone's having a nice morning though Sunday Game of Muscles Sunday Church of Force Feedback For those of you joining us, if you want to sponsor this challenge and get your name on the cha challenge board, anything over five dingle bobs gets your name on the board and you'll be featured. 
on the board. Don't know what else. We could probably have logos there. Trying to try to make this challenge a little bit more financially viable. <laughs> After I realised how long this is going to take. And how few people actually like Assetto Corsa. Few people are... You know, I mean, this is this game is actually incredible. Like this is this is this is like this is like rubbing your face on the holy grail. And uh, most sim racers just don't know. Can you imagine? So imagine finding the holy grail and then just then just leaving it in the cupboard. You broke it skateboarding. Yeah, mine was rollerblading. Uh, well, I, 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 so I fell over, broke my wrist, and then I was like, oh, my wrist hurts, but oh, I'm sure it's not broken. <laughs> and then my friends were like, ah, oh, yeah, it's probably fine, whatever. So then I kept going. I fell on it again. I was like, oh, no, it re actually, it really does quite hurt quite a bit, but it's like, ah, oh, we're skating, it's fine. <laughs> so then I, fell, then I fell over on it again, and I was like, yeah, it's actually really hurting quite a lot, to be honest. So then I go home to my parents, and I go to my parents, you know what, I think I broke my wrist, it really hurts. And they're like, oh, no, it's not broken. Don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> then, like, three hours later, I'm like, yeah, my wrist really hurts still. I'm pretty sure it's broken. They're like, oh, no. And then, and then they're, I'm like, yeah, no, I, I really think I should get it checked at the hospital. And they're like, oh, I'll be fine. <laughs> And I'm like, no, no, look. <laughs> and they're like, okay, we'll waste it. We'll waste our time going to the hospital. Go to the hospital, the X-ray it, and they're like, yeah, your wrist broken. <laughs> my my parents are like, like the when it comes to like injuries and stuff, they are the ah, uh, walk it off. <laughs> oh, they're they're really caring and nice. But they were just like, unless unless my legs like literally in my hand, they would be like, oh, it's you know, it's probably fine. Because my my mum grew up like walking around the wilderness doing random shit as a child. Like they, they would play on like military um, shooting grounds and stuff, like where they do shelling and things. So like from her perspective, <laughs> she'd be like, ah, it's fine. <laughs> but my their parenting was ah just. Just go outside and climb some trees and fall off them. It's fine. <laughs> I also, I also like broke my back as a teenager, and I come. I went to hospital. My friends took me to the hospital, and uh, I had painkillers injected in my spine and everything. I got home, and my parents were like, "Oh, uh, you were out for a long time." I was like, "Yeah, I've been to hospital." They're like, "Oh," and I was like, "And I was like, I'm going to bed." <laughs> and they're like, oh, okay. And then in the morning, they're like, why aren't you out of bed? I'm like, my back's broken. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> oh, dear. So dumb. Oh, dear. Right, what... What speed are we on? What I'm saying is my childhood was really difficult, you know. It was really hard being me. Broke back muscle. <laughs> Spoiled muscle. Yeah, and I actually I had, I had a really nice... I grew up on like... You know, you know in between us, the TV show... That is exactly it. Like it's, it's exactly what it was like for me being a teenager. <laughs> like in between us is, is a documentary of being a teenager from my perspective. It's it's, a, it's hilarious. It's bizarre how how much they nailed it. What time did I need to get? 
Please tell me it's a 27. Not like a six minute something. Can you guys remember? Thanks for following, welcome. Make a cup of tea, otherwise you're banned. 720, oh shit. How am I meant to get seven seconds? <laughs> yeah, easy, it's 720. It's the Porsche something. Is that good enough? Thanks guys for clicking the like button on YouTube, by the way. Really appreciate it. Thanks for following as well. Thanks for supporting us. Thanks for watching adverts. Thanks for the memories. Thanks for winning World War II. Thanks for... Thanks for inventing the computer. Thanks for the Spanx. Oh, that was meant to be private. It is. The car is the GT3 RS. Porsche 911 GT3 RS. S Strikes 11. Thanks for following. Welcome. I'm driving faster. Thanks for the streams. S wow, you know. Simdong. <laughs> Simdong. Oh, it's lost it. It's lost the Zimdong. Zing dong. Zing dong is gone. Twenty. Ah, oh, with four seconds off. No, nope. did that lap not count? Hang on. So we did twenty-seven point four. Seven, se seven seconds. How am I supposed to get seven set Like, that's like a lot of time. That's like really... Maybe the Dottinger Ho lineup is like four seconds. That's what I'm hoping. We could probably get two seconds through here if we get a really committed line. Holy understand. Oh, it's pretty hard. Oh. Uh, you know. Do you know what else is pretty hard? Tying your shoelaces with no hands. Rock and roll. How good is that Casio advert? <laughs> Rock and roll. I like I like my night shift. I worked at McDonald's. I liked it. I didn't mind McDonald's. McDonald's was better to work at than Morrison's. McDonald's was better than being an IT technician in a school. Oh, we're 
we're finding a second here. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, I mean, this is such a hard challenge, guys. It's all right, this car. It's just a bit bouncy. What was the other Porsche we drove around here? That was hard. It's just the whatever the tighter the suspension, the better cars handle. Oh, that bloody jump kills the car. You can't stabilise it. If you go over that jump too much, the suspension's bouncing and you can't, you can't uh, correct it without running out of track. So this car likes actually being driven into the understeer. That gets a lot more pace. Well, we, we gained, like, we were up three seconds there. Still, that's another few seconds we have to find. Well, Kunos employee said this. I don't know. They're probably using wall axe. <laughs> uh, Robbie J. Yeah, that's that's why I'm really excited about it. I really love electric cars. Who isn't passionate about electric?
I think we're pretty good on that first. First sector's pretty good. Maybe if I stay on the right hand side of that jump, then we can. Maybe that'll work better with this car. Just wait till we have USB powered air fries. That's the dream. Yeah, the problem is it, the fast right hander, the speed that you're taking it is due to try not to crash the car from the jump. So it's not like we're not taking that line on purpose. We're trying to not crash on the jump because this car, the car lifts off the ground. <laughs> Hello, Doubt of the Door. Thanks for kicking the like button on YouTube, guys. Need more tea. You can never have enough tea, let's be honest. Ah, oh, that curb. 
Nailed it. <laughs> that goes ridiculous. Uh, no, we just, this is a different one. I need to adjust my seat in position here. I just woke up, Dan. <laughs> we just we just woke up. <sighs> no, it's it's not really about VR. Hang on. What time do we need to get? So this guy reckons we get 6.50 on the tourist. Let's, should we try that? 6.50. And what do we need to get? A 7. I mean, the tourist is smaller, isn't it? But then... Seven twenty. How much shorter is the tour? Well, the tourist lap should be take longer because you have to come out of the pits and slowly go up the hill. Or where does where does it finish? Like it's like bridge to gantry or something. How much shorter is Bridge to Gantry than full Nordschleife? If 650 Bridge to Gantry, which should that be 720? Twenty seconds should be enough to do the gap between Yeah, we'll try it anyway. Move my, I move my pedal for my pedals closer, my seat further away. Try to straighten my arms out a bit. Bad for your nerve having your hands bent all the time. This might be a little bit more. Stable. 
Ah, this setup feels a bit... A little bit more downforce, maybe. This, this seems more planted. This is a lot easier to drive. It's amazing how much effect setup has. I don't know if it's faster though. <laughs> I think this might be a car on the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. This might be a £250,000 repair bill. It's a classical game of muscle lap. Unhinged through there.
imagine doing this in real life. I, I, I'd rather be in a car with downforce. <laughs> I don't trust vehicles that don't have a lot of downforce. Oh, we got silver. All right, that wasn't like our best lap that we could do, so. 24. So, it's good. Setup seems a lot better then. Go, Aero Boy to the core. <laughs> the Aero Boy Bonanza. Thanks for clicking the like button on YouTube, guys. Reminder. I wish you'd done a poll for this. Yeah, this setup's a lot easier. To, it's just less bouncy, more planted. That's what you want. Go. You want a car to go where you, you know. This is actually really nice. But it's still got a lot of movement, but. Still gonna be hard, I think, to get the 720 lap time. I racing corner. <laughs> this is how you enter this one. Bonk. It's our racing corner. That. If you don't get the speed off and you're going slightly too hot, you just that's got to be like the worst corner on the Nurburg, on the Nordschleife. We got we grass the window. Right, let's put this on here. It's all right. Run normally. OBS has had an update, I think. I'm just going to set OBS up on this computer. Update now. And it's all right. Live, 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 you. Live, 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 I'm, I'm worried I might have to take a break though because I'm getting some pins and needles in this hand which is a bad sign because it normally means that the nerve is getting pinched in my elbow. <laughs> so I've just moved my seat further back. This arm's broken. I need like three months away from sim racing. Basically. Oh, so three months away from doing any... For, anything more than three hours of driving a day. Right. Restart the lap here. You can take it. Right. Do it. 
think it remembers the last setup. <sighs> you ready, guys? How's everyone doing? If you've just joined us, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all well. Hope you're having a nice Sunday. We got uh, 62 lost people on Twitch. Say hello if you're on Twitch. Say hello if you're on YouTube. You can say hello. You don't have to lurk. Thanks to everyone that watches on Twitch and watches our ter the terrible adverts. If you don't want adverts, you can become a member on Twitch. You can link Amazon Prime and be a member for free. Um, if you become a member on YouTube, I don't know. You might, do you still get adverts on YouTube if you're a member on YouTube? I don't know. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But uh, appreciate all the support from everyone. Thanks to all the members allowing us to do pointless stuff like this. <laughs> and we're, we are running a thing at the moment where you can uh, be a sponsor of this challenge. Any donations over five, five whatevers, whatever your currency is. Um, you get your name on the list for this. Uh, it will be on the challenge. So you could, if you had a company, you could, it could be whatever you want. You can, five dollars, you can have whatever you want on the list. Um, as long as it's not, as long as it's not um, about genitals, it's, you can have whatever you want. What a time to be alive! Um, a ten, a donations over ten get a tattoo on my forehead. <laughs> can you imagine? Maybe I could have a hair tattoo. I should get. I should do. Uh, I, I don't want a hair transplant, but I should do like a donation goal to get like a hair transplant, right? And then I should disappear live streaming for like five months, and then come back with like <laughs> with like an afro or something. People will be like, what? What? <laughs> How funny would that be? Uh, I'm, I'm. I like being bold. So yeah, just get a wig. It's not the same, is it? Okay, let's we're go. going in a minute. We're just uh, we're just taking it easy. The Utrid under turn face. I think we need to get some pogs. Imagine sim racing pogs. How good would that be? Seto Corsa, I rate the I racing pogs could be really slidey. The uh, the R Factor Two pogs could just flip over automatically. <laughs> yeah, get it and then grow your hair, then shave it off. Yeah. Pogetativos, pogeta, completetativo, pog 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 completetativo, completetativo, completetativo. It almost makes sense. It almost makes sense. Ah oh, dear. Easy. I don't know what I don't know what to eat today as well. We've had some bananas. Oh, I have some fish. We'll have some fish. There we go. So this is what a stroke sounds like. I mean, I get I gave your mum a stroke. Lol. <laughs> oh dear. Uh. Fish with rice cakes. Fish with I got fish I've got rice, I got battered fish. I don't have any carbohydrates. Got some pasta. You got a one twenty three and got stuck here. Uh, you you let you ex case. I think we just did a one. Did we do a one twenty two or something? Ah, oh, sorry to hear that, man. Um. Yeah, that's the, that's the danger of mum jokes when you're older. Everyone's like, ah, oh, mum's dead. And you're like, well, you know. All right, bring the mood down. <laughs> What's... Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's it. Uh, nah, it's all right. I, I like to think that people watching this channel have a sense of humour. Some people don't, and they make clips... I was actually reminding me. I need a. Uh, 
Uh, we need a thing, a humor warning. How do you spell humor? H U humor warning. <laughs> Not everything is literal. <laughs> if you don't have a sense of humour, go away. <laughs> Literatitativo. Not noit. This keyboard is the worst. Like dyslexia in this keyboard are like it's the nuclear option of keyboards. Ah, right, look. We can use Chat GTP to do all the work for us. Look, Chat GTP. Look at this. Check this out. I'll say. Uh, are you ready? Chat GTP. Make me a concise warning uh, for a stream that contains humour that some people might find offensive. And that they should not watch the channel if they are easily offended. Uh, there we go. Warning! This stream contains humour that may be considered offensive to some viewers. If you're easily offended, discretion is advised. Viewer, viewer discretion is advised. There you go. Viewer warning. Uh, add in the there is also improv and absurd humour that specific German streamers that play iRacing will likely clip and repost in a shallow attempt to stop a person being critical about a about eye racing. <laughs> Warning: This stream contains humour, including improv and absurdity, that some viewers might find offensive. Additionally, certain German streamers playing eye racing may clip and repost content in a shallow attempt to deter criticism. Viewer discretion is advised. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Chat GTP. You can do stuff better than me. I gave it the prompt. Beautiful. <laughs> That's too perfect. I don't need a brain anymore. I just tell it what I want and it does what I want. Oh, that is so perfect. <laughs> that is too good. It's like a cigarette warning. Ah, oh, it's too good, guys. I need this on a t-shirt. <laughs> this needs to be on a shirt. I need to make it bigger, yeah. Well, the thing with ChatGTP is, what it's really good for is... If you conceptually understand something and you you know so like you as the person needs to understand the conceptual component of what you're trying to convey like so so it's like it's literally like you have a writing department so you you can't just say chat gtp make this perfect thing up you have to give it the framework um and then it will reformat it in a concise way. But, like, you, you have to tell... And then you have to... Do you know what I mean? I think a lot of people get confused. They think, oh, AI's done everything. Just making this a bit more formatted better. Here we go, put that. No. 
<laughs> I'm so happy with that. I mean, that formatting, hang on. Why am I doing the format myself? Reformat this so. Reformat this so the words are. So it fits nicely compacted. Yeah. Problem is, you really want you need I need three lines. Hang on. Okay, let's go. Okay, hang on. Hang on, we're going in a minute. We're going in a minute. I know. Re reformat this so it's. Oh, maybe just centrally aligned. We'll do it. That'll probably fix it. Reformat this so it's centrally aligned and is only three lines down. I don't know if this will work. Uh, this is not driving with fans. We're doing, we're completing uh, AC single player everything. Uh, we're just, we're just putting a warning on the stream for people that. Uh, There we go. We're just making, we're putting a warning on the screen for people that are, get offended easily and don't like improv or humour. <laughs> there we go. I mean, we could have, we could, have, do you think it'd be better with the message scrolling? Like, uh, it's a single line, but it's scrolling. Why has it got pound, why has it got accents over the, uh, this is very important okay, to get right. Let's go. Oh, that's a good font. <laughs> it's my favourite font, that one. What's going on here with the formatting? Comic Comic Sans. Uh, let's try. Let's have it as a single line and have it scrolling along the bottom of the screen. Why does that text of it's pretty big text? There you go. <laughs> Is that does that work guys? So I need, do I need to make it red as a as a good warning? Because all warnings are red.
I didn't put a U in it. ChatGTP did. How do you spell humour? I don't even know how you spell humour. Uh, you're a you, you, you're a one thousandth German, and I'm pretty much offended by everything you said. <laughs> What's a one thousandth German? Hang on. While it may be quite offensive to place eyes on a heretic such as thou, <laughs> you so show some repentance with RC. Stay on the righteous path, James. I will pray for you. Blessed be the day, girl. May your force feedback be strong and informative. Amen. M O U R. Is that how it's spelled in English, like that? H U M O U R. Uh, this is the whole game, Brian. Is that. We've made it British because we can't use American. You, is that alright? Is that a good warning? <laughs> Certain German streamers playing iRacing may clip and repost. <laughs> this stream contains humour, including improbable and absurdity that some viewers may find offensive. Additionally, <laughs> <laughs> it's such a specific warning. Additionally, certain German streamers playing iRacing may clip it and repost content in a shallow attempt to deter criticism. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Additionally, <laughs> it's so, like, specific. <laughs> There's a warning. It's like, it's like cigarette warnings going... Uh, warning, warning, uh, cigarettes may cause cancer. Additionally, Tories okay. are killing homeless yeah. people and don't care. Right, here we go, we're going, we're going, we're going, we got, we got that. I thought that was pretty good. Thanks for the donation there, by the way, really appreciate that. I've already done that. That's how I got good. Come on. Oh, my music stopped. Oh, no. Utrids. 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 Undeter. He's a man from medieval times. He's a man. He commits war crimes. Utrid. 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 Undeterred. He's Utrid, son of Utrid. Grandson of Utrid. Great, 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 great grandson of Utrid. Utrid, undeterred. Understeering through the track. Utrid, undeterred. Every corner he runs wide. Utrid. Sexy, sexy, putrid, putrid, topless, muscular, putrid. <laughs> Utrid, I am Utrid, son of Utrid. <laughs> sexy Utrid. Oh dear. Are you work from home? Uh, yeah, U U Sim Racing Jesus gave us a donation there, by the way. I missed it, and I did. Well, I did half missed it, but half didn't. Thank you very much for the support, guys. As a reminder, any donations, you could have had Sim Racing Jesus, you could have been on the list. Anything over five whatevers, whatever your currency is, uh, you, you could have uh, your name or whatever you want on the supporters list. Uh, review for the troop, I think I'm going to sit here for the next two weeks in my rig and just not move except for eat and sleep. I work from home so I can sit here and maybe get some work done. Live stream it and then people pay you to do nothing. Your mum, Your mum said this is good. Just put a hole in your seat and just you can just sit here. <laughs> Over summer break, my family is all going to visit family on the mainland USA. Nice. Where where are you? Uh, where are you now? You're thinking of starting a sh to stream? You probably should. Well, um, I I would not recommend streaming because it's what I do, and I don't want you to take uh, take my audience away from me. 
but no like if you're trying to grow a channel what you should do is you just do youtube videos like streaming is a really awful way to grow a, a channel like it just really doesn't work well something is causing in encoder overloading okay, on my system yeah we're going god are you living in hawaii why why aren't you out surfing Last night, actually, after the stream, I spent four hours uh, researching about uh, pump boards and surfboard, uh, like hydrofoil surfboards. They look amazing. Yeah, if you're trying to grow a channel, don't do what I do. Like, I, I am genuinely doing the absolute opposite of what you should do if you want to be successful. Um, ah, this... Uh, I think it's the scrolling text is caught. There's something wrong with this computer. I'll have to turn the scrolling off. Really, I don't know why the encoders. Overloading. Uh, well, no, even being like Jimmy probably wouldn't be successful, to be honest. Like, you'd have to do something else. I mean, what Jimmy did that was really good was uh, for for his age, like, it helps being a certain age, but then also, um, pick like, doing games that are uh, popular games at the right time is the, is the key to, like, general uh, growth. So like uh, you need to pick you need a console game. So it's F1 titles, anything that's on console really helps. That even applies to Jardia. Like if it wasn't for ACC being on uh, PC as well as console, because yeah, like so for for ages Jardia was playing um, Race Room and just not, had no viewers at all. I mean Jardia is really good, so you have to be good, but unless you have an audience there. You, you, there's no point. It doesn't matter. No one's going to see you. So when ACC came out and Jardia went started to do that, ACC was on console and PC, and so uh, that's allowed Jardia to actually grow his audience a lot more. With, with Jimmy, it was uh, uh, Gran, Gran Turismo. We, he did like the Gran Turismo challenges, and uh, then like GT players. Same with like Super GT was like Forza and Gran Turismo. Um, I, I mean, I got a load of growth from Project Cars 2 because that was on console and PC. Yeah, I mean, I and the biggest, the stuff where I've had the most growth on my channel is being like Microsoft Flight Sim. Anything that's mainstream, like if you play niche stuff, there's just not an audience to grow a channel, really. And unless you're like, so... Unless you really do cater to a niche and you're not particularly critical and stuff. So, like, um, GP Laps, for example, does really good, consistent okay, content. Um, and so he's sort of like the vintage car guy, vintage sim car stuff. So he fits that niche really well. Um, there are ways to, to actually still fit into niches, but if you predominantly want to do live streaming or game playing... And not make and not do loads and loads of videos and uh um uh, jimmy's all right though jimmy's a nice guy in reality like um so you know he, he like he, he goes out of his way to help support uh, other uh, sim streamers and stuff and you know he, he does he shares his success really generously so i don't um you know, yeah, I know, I know you're just joking, but to be clear, like, he is, um... Thing is, if you get... Once you get to, like... If you have a thousand viewers on your live stream, you, you're gonna get a lot of shit from people. Um, so, you know, like, Jardia gets a lot of bollocks. <laughs> Even Matt Malone gets weird shit. That's like, why? Like, they're all nice people.
Uh, flight Sim's good. I'm, re I'm really looking forward to um, uh, Flight Sim 24 having like more of a career mode to it. I think it'll be nice and chill to play. That was it. So I, I really like Flight Sim 2020, but I kind of feel it's a bit aimless. Like I, I feel like I, I know you can get mods, but it's like with this AC single player stuff, having official challenges is a fun it gives you like a framework that's like everyone can join in so um you know like any anyone like since we've been doing this loads of people have like tried to do the hot light challenges because it's the same for everyone so it, it, it means that oh everyone's everyone knows what's going on everyone's like oh i wonder you know we're doing better we're doing worse or uh, well you know you you completed that challenge you completed this challenge you know I wonder if it's Twitch is having a fanny, like the Twitch encoder is going up and down. Maybe that's causing the issue. Uh, yeah, that seems, but it's, it's, again, it's not like... Um, yeah, the challenges in 2020 are not very good. I've, I've done most of them. Um, that sim is um, just a bit weird. Like, again, it's it, that, I don't think that sim really works because there's no consequences. So you, be, you, you could go into that sim and, like, obviously you'll get banned from it if you say stupid shit, but you're not going to, like, the damage in, our, in, in Microsoft Flight Sim doesn't work realistically. There's no, like, overarching financial like in-game credit consequence for like landing badly or going into the wrong airspace it's not like someone can dispatch some military fighters or you know it damages turned off for the most part so it, it just doesn't make sense it's all it's role playing and it's like well what's the point then like the whole point of a video game is that you don't need to role play like you can play by the game the rules of the game so it's you know that seems great for training though don't get me wrong like because uh, communication over radio is is really difficult whilst flying it's really hard to get to grips with but yeah with with microsoft flight sim like the landing challenges are all like just all over the place and, and just a bit weird and then the scoring of them is really weird as well so i just think you need like a decent career mode Yeah, like it. So in a driving sim, you're doing a race. So first of all, you're trying to win the race against other people. So that's a gameplay mechanic. Then you you have like um, f quite granular success and fail, like in terms of lap time and uh, being precise. It's all like evaluated mostly by lap time. But like, do you know what I mean? Whereas in Microsoft Flight Sim, if it was right. So for example. They should have a single player mode where you have credits which represent your money as a pilot and if you land too hard and the plane needs repairing or you get a fine you lose credits which then affects your progress of being able to do something else or uh, licenses or whatever you know that'd be really good have i been playing long what do you, what do you mean this today we've only been playing for like an hour we played we did 16 hours yesterday are you talking to hugo you need to add people's names if you're talking to them it's very confusing right let's let's get this lap in guys yeah i know as i said if it's a mod it doesn't work so like microsoft flight sim has a mod for um Microsoft Flight Sim has a mod for career mode, but not everyone's playing it. So it needs to be like um, Euro Truck Simulator, for example, or like this single player in Gran Turismo. Everyone, so everyone's doing the same thing. So that way, when you live stream it or you're playing it, and your, your friend's like, oh, have you done that challenge? Oh, that was a hard challenge. It's a shared experience. All right, here we go. Full send. 
Bless her tyres. Thanks for kicking the like button on YouTube as well, guys. Keep reminding you all. Racing corner. Seems very slidey. I don't know if I got the right setup going.
I just woke up, Phil. <laughs> Hopefully this is a good lap. It felt pretty quick. Twenty-two. Not too bad. <laughs> I thought something felt weird. <laughs> I was like, what is going on with the car when I'm like on high load corners? My wheelbase is coming loose on my sim rig. <laughs> I was like, I was going through a corner. I was like, it feels like the back of the car is like loose. <laughs> oh, that feels so weird. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, I just need to tighten it up on the bottom. This is on my sim rig. That's such a weird feeling. Oh, shut up, Adrian. That was so weird. I would just... When I was on some corners, the wheelbase would, like, move, like, a two or three mil, which then gives the perception that, like, the back of the car's wheels were, like, separating from the uh, body of the car. Oh, just, we just need to get an Allen key. I'll be fine. <laughs> so random. Oh, I was, I, at first I was like, oh shit, the quick release is broken. Which would be shit. But uh, it's just the wheelbase. Okay. Right, let me just, uh, I've got to take my headset off whilst I look for an Allen key. I need to get some 
non-alcoholic beer. Ah, oh, no, it's always they're always the wrong Allen key size, aren't they? It's like smaller. We have like a thousand Allen keys of the size that you don't want. That was the smallest. Oh, I haven't cross threaded it. That'd be hard to get off the ring. The, the annoying thing with Allen keys as well is you've got like international, you've got American and British Allen keys, and there's like some are inches and some are centimeters. Hello, Maxon. How's it going, man? Hope you're well. So many Allen keys. Right. Actually, yesterday you were playing GT7 and had an earthquake. <laughs> you live in Mas Mas Massachusetts. I can't even pronounce that. Um, we never had one before. You were racing offline, so yeah, it's, earthquakes feel super weird. We had an earthquake in... We don't really have them in the UK, but you do occasionally, and they're really weak ones. And they feel so weird. I, like, I have weird dreams where I'm woken up because I think, oh, it's an earthquake. <laughs> yeah, we, we had one in the early 2000s. And uh, my mum woke up because of it. Because it, I could hear it. I had my window open. I was awake, and I could. it was really weird because it had a, there was a really like deep, low rumbling sound as well. And then my mum, she comes into my room shouting at me. She's like, oh, you woke me up. You woke me up. I've got work tomorrow and you woke me up. I'm like, it's an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the blame for a bloody earthquake. So stupid. But, uh, yeah, it feels so wrong. The, the floor moving. It's like being sat on a motor. It's literally like a motion rig. <laughs> the, f the way the floor moves in an earthquake I know they can be different, it depends on the type of earthquake but the ones in the UK that we've had uh, are like um, re I think they're just very low frequency earthquakes, whereas if you saw the one that happened in um, Taiwan recently I think it's that was quite high frequency oh. let's just go through these sequentially Oh, here we go. Ah, perfect. There we go. You've been... Oh, yeah. What? Did you go to the one in the London uh, Science Museum? They had one in the 90s in London. which was actually pretty good, actually. Not that bad. Uh, that was because there'd been that... Um, Huge earthquake in Japan, if you remember the um, the famous one where the uh, motorway collapsed on people. Yeah, I'm screwed if there's an earthquake in my house. Like this, this house is so like wonky already. <laughs> this, is, this would fall down instantly. Bricks all over my face. Right, I'm just going to get a drink, guys. I'll be back in a second. Yeah, the Kobe, that was mental. 
that used, that terrified me just watching it. <laughs> that was like a horror thing. Back in a second.
Okay, let's go. I thought I'd do a little bit of a uh, finish off my pancake, my banana pancake batter, so sorry about that. force winds blowing on me here from my PC fan. How's everyone doing in chat? Can we have a, a roll call of the countries of where people are from? We got, I imagine we've got lots of Aussies in here. we got some uh, Oakland's oranges here from Lidl's. Jamaica. Ba beer can. <laughs> beer can. Norway, hello. Fordan, Hardouda. <laughs> we always have a Norwegian. And there's always a Norwegian watching the stream for some reason. Denmark. Sorry, Danish people aren't welcome here. We totally know that Denmark and Sweden are going to go to war. And I want to remain neutral. Who would win? The Danes or the Swedes? Norwegians would win. Norwegians have like the uh, crazy forest snipers. I <laughs> love your waffling. Sweden already won, what, in the great, in the great, uh, war, the great Danish-Sweden war. The world would win. I've never been to Denmark or Sweden, so I can't comment on either. My money's on Norway. <laughs> I've been to Norway. I know what they're like there. Those Norwegians. Can't trust them. I, the thing is, if you can survive, like, Danish, Swedish, Norwegian winter, if you're comfortable in that kind of weather, there's something like, you know, superhuman. I, if it's minus five, I'm dead. <laughs> if you can beat that weather, you can beat like any anything else. Go Norway. <laughs> uh, I had a massive crush on a Norwegian girl when I uh, when I was at university. Ah, oh, she was so nice. <laughs> Oh, a bit unhinged through there. Uh, that, that 
corner is terrifying. Oh, that's good. My wheel doesn't feel like it's wobbling left and right now. I think it was just getting progressively worse until it got to a certain point where it was like, oh. <laughs> All right, Rika Johnson. She's got a good sense of humour as well. Rika Kaka! <laughs> what a lovely lady. Our gladiators, contenders ready. Gladiators are ready. Three, two, one. Hang tough. <laughs> gladiators. Full send. It's all about lining up the, um, the 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 slow corners before long straights. Is always where you're gonna gain and lose the most amount of time on a track. Bouncy, bouncy there. Did anyone in chat done this challenge? Someone said they'd done twenty threes. I think anyone said they've managed to do this. That was a good line. Whoa, what a track cut. Legal, legal. We 
Run it out wide, boys! And girls. And everything in between. Oh, that's good. That was a ho pretty hooked up through there, guys. I think we might be on something good here. Felt like a pretty good lap. What's your prediction for lap time? I'm thinking a 7.21. <laughs> it's my The Game of Muscle Predictioni. Oh, that was a 24. It was terrible. <laughs> I thought it was a good lap. Oh, no. Denied. Denied. Parts of that lap were really good. That's what I tell myself. Bloody hell. Well, don't know where we lost the time, though. We did um, really good. Gained a lot of time at the end of the lap. Bloody hell. That was really good first sector. Absolutely nail winkled it. Some of the track cuts are very harsh. Let's go. I just you can get away with um, just lifting and use it and turning the wheel rather than you don't really need to get the weight forwards on this car to turn it which is nice from the rear drink some beer green ear to ear we crashed here <laughs> to a line of gear Bank balanced cries cried a tear. Broken landing gear. There we go, we're going. This feels like a pretty good lap so far. <laughs> that slide through there. Marry a skier.
free, free. Okay, we're done. We're done now. <laughs> you took it too far. Bringing the Scots into this. bit of a seesaw there. What was that about? <laughs> oh, it's a little, little power spike. Oh my god! Oh, there is Jimmy the Bear. But no one has done it. No one has done it all. And few dare try. But one brave, bold man with no life will attempt the impossible. slow down. Might have gone a bit too fast into that. <laughs> Whoops. The car was just flying so much that I couldn't get the speed off. in there.
Ah. Uh. It's annoying that it loses your delta time when you restart the session. Wow. Well, this is a little bit of a tricky one, guys. <laughs> I feel like we, we, we're kind of managing to somewhat get there. We just haven't... Um, we just have to do it whilst uh, linking out the whole thing up. You know? <sighs> Bit of tea. Tea gives you pace. Everyone knows that. Let's do it! We need some... Uh, oh, should we do a poll? Let me do a poll on Twitch. Start a prediction. Get gold before... 6 5, 8, six a.m. There we go. Give you 30 minutes on that. Prediction active. Are you ready? Get some uh, get some predictions in there on Twitch, guys. What's up with the viewer discretion warning? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. It's it's for people that don't have a sense of humour. It's for it's so that uh, when people clip the stream and then repost it and try and frame us as being like whatever to cancel us, uh, that 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 will be on the the screen, <laughs> and then. Uh, Yeah. Well, yeah, they can do it, but the point is, it's for people that don't realise it's a comedy channel. It, it helps make it nice and clear. <laughs> because some people on the internet suffer from a condition where basically everything uh, everything has to be literal everything has to be literal because otherwise they can't understand it It's not, nice. it's not. It's not about the Germans. It's a. It's a warning about. Oh, we can. We can remove the German thing. It's a bit too precise. Should we just put certain streamers? Let's get rid of German because that probably that confuses people more. It's too, a bit too obvious. If we say. Uh, if we say certain, but I mean that's kind of the joke as well. Ah, uh, every. The joke. Well, I mean, every every joke doesn't, you know. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Nice and simple. Don't we don't want to upset the Germans. <laughs> don't upset the Germans. <laughs> um let's go.
<laughs> I should do a video why I racing is the absolute best why I racing is the best at not and then the video is and then the video is at not being able to drive on the limit yeah it's pretty funny It's not even about feeling the slip, it's to do with the tyres overheating, so even if you feel it or you learn it in advance, if you drive it into the slip, which is a totally normal thing to do, it, it, it punishes you. You can't learn Nords. You've tried several times, oh, you need to try several thousand times, that's where you've gone wrong. <laughs> you, need to, you need to try several billion times. I, I, of course, this is my first ever lap, so uh, if you're not... When you're as good as me at video games, it all comes naturally. But like, obviously, a lot of people aren't as talented as me, so it's understandable that they would struggle. Do you know what I mean? You have to. You just have to appreciate that. You can't you can't expect to be as good as me, obviously. It's you can I mean you can want to be. You can dream about it. You can shave your head, but you still won't are unlikely to achieve the same level of greatness. Norwegians have driven the Nordschleife in a uh, Viking longboat. That's how good they are at driving. Just bring an axe. Uh, you'd be surprised. An axe solves a lot of problems. Door won't open. Axe. Uh, legal dispute. Axe. Uh, tree in the way, axe. Um, do you know, just anything really. Someone looks at you funny, axe. Need to eat some food, throw an axe at a rabbit. Car, car won't start. Axe. <laughs> yeah, axe. Oh, I got to get. We got to get some Guinness today when the shops open. Non-alcoholic Guinness. Exactly. Look, you can't complain about eye racing. Every every simulator has faults. And for you to suggest that one sim might have more faults than another is highly offensive. What you need to do is just learn to enjoy things. Nothing's ever going to be perfect. You need to learn to not be critical and not ruin other people's fun. And just... Just learn to... Just learn to be happy, right? Here's a gun now, go and invade that country. 
Don't don't think about it. Don't think about anything. That's my philosophy in life. Go and uh, work in the office for the company that's uh, killing people. It's, uh, don't worry about it. Don't think about it. It's fine. It's just rude to be critical about stuff. Oh, that oil spill that's uh, destroying the environment and killing loads of animals and making places inhospitable. Don't worry about that. Be positive. Oh, gas leak that kills loads of uh, innocent uh, local people that have nothing to do with the uh, exploitation of their, their environment. I don't talk about that. Don't worry about it. So life is so much easier if you don't think about anything. Lines, come on. Paycheck's a paycheck. Yeah. R the river that I kayak in being filled with shit so you can get Viles disease and all the, all other sorts of diseases if that water happens to splash in your face. Don't, don't worry about it. Just, just go swimming and enjoy the sun. Enjoy the river. Just enjoy it. Don't, you know, don't blame... Uh, don't, don't think about it. Don't blame the government. Don't blame the water companies that have been privatised and uh, taking, sending money to investors that are separate to the... Uh, business don't worry about that oh all those surfers getting sick ah uh, don't worry about that focus on the big waves and having fun yeah it's, it's so much easier I think the problem is a lot of people are just too critical and too, you know, and say stuff that I find upsetting and I just wish they wouldn't say anything, so I'm going to say that they should be nicer. Well, those shareholders have to eat, you commie, filthy commie. Those shareholders have families, and anyone can buy shares. It's up to you. It's up to you to buy shares. Just because you spend all your money on your rent and your mortgage, and therefore don't have everything left over to invest in the stock market so you're not part of the uh, that that monetary flow but that's your fault you should have found a better job so we guys I'd like to apologize for the uh, commies that we have in chat dirty socialists Really, I'm really sorry, guys. We'll get, we'll start banning them soon. They're taking advantage of my uh, concentration of lapping. No, I racing corner. Oh, we got away with it. That was close. Forgot about our racing corner for a minute. Never forget our racing corner, or it will I race you.
got a prediction. I'll put a prediction in. Yeah, guys, get your prediction in. Seto prediction to Tivioni. Yeah, I'm going to say Tivioni. Oh! There's going to be a track cut there. How is that slower? We, we need to work out that final corner in this car. It's like three seconds we can get from doing that. Perfect. Well, you know, sometimes you have to... Get, yeah, we have, we're having today off, can't you tell? <laughs> can't you tell that I'm off? This is, this is off. Brains off all the time. Is that what I save energy?
right, Robbly J, have, have fun. Take care. Four twenty, seven twenty. I mean, <laughs> hello, Alex, as well. I don't, I don't like ACC, but I do like the normalist. So that is amazing. So it's probably one of the, probably one of the, well, one of the or not the best simulation to practice. Like uh, even F1, GT mods. I really, it's really good. I don't, I don't like ACC, but I do like the normalist. 
but that's amazing. She's probably one of the probably one of the one of the or not the best submission to practice like uh, even F1 GT mods. They're really it's really good. I don't I don't like ACC but I do like the normalist. But that's amazing. So it's probably one of the probably one of the fun. One of the or not the best simulation to practice like uh, even F1 or GT mods. They're really it's really good. Let's go. Getting faster. Oh, 21, 8. Not bad. A bit of cat stick, it's fine. We get into the twenties. Nice 
last lines. That was uh, just for hot laps. This is this is for the whole game. Whoa, look at this time getting in there. Come on. Oh, you fucker. Oh, we're all right. We're all right. All right. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's all under control. It's all under control. <laughs> Too much curb. It's fine, though. Don't worry about it. Clean that. Clean that. We can definitely do it. The delta doesn't lie. Yeah, we can definitely do it. Just have to hook it up. Hook it up, boys! More tea is always a solution. Seven twenty, yeah. Start that up. 
An axe would definitely do the trick, for sure. <laughs> well, you can't drive it. Well, I don't think the problem is the Nordschleifer in that scenario. Probably something else going on. Hello, bus story. Sorry if I miss any messages in chat whilst we're doing this. I, I do have to concentrate. It's quite a difficult challenge, this. Thanks for following Sky Cuts. Welcome. Most of my issues in life are caused by a lack of axe, to be honest. find drifting that corner is just more exciting so <laughs> why not Carousel, carousel, more like carousel.
Ah! Uh, car just wants to keep going wide there. Oh, thank you. Welcome, Red Eye Warrior. We're concentrating. Sorry, I can't respond. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome along, guys. Guys, go and follow Red Eye Warrior if you haven't. He's a legend. Welcome. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're trying to get the gold challenge, which is a seven minute 20 with this car. And it's hard. <laughs> Been three hours of the hot lapping so far today. We did about an hour yesterday. We're going through. Welcome, Red Eye Warrior. Really appreciate the raid. Thank you. We're trying to 100% complete everything in the set, of course. Uh, those of you that have just joined us. What, 27? It's better, it's better. Oh my god. I'm getting faster. Seven tenths off. Red Eye Warrior can do this in his sleep. <laughs> oh, same socks as yesterday. <laughs> Haven't changed. Haven't changed. Dedication to the hot lapping, guys. Look at this, first time ever we've been below 720 on the prediction on the Delta. Life of a streamer. <laughs> oh my goodness, we might do this. We're actually, we were 15 seconds off when we started this challenge.
Oh my god, we're doing... Christ, we're quick. Oh my god! <laughs> We've been Red Eye Warrior blessed! See, just comes into the stream and we're like, gaining seconds. Glory of the Red Eye Warrior! He has a van! <laughs> Sellotape your nipples! Oh, and we got a good exit. Woo! Come on. Tease it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh yes! Oh my god! <sighs> oh, we beat it by five tenths, easy. We had it in the bag. Oh, bloody hell, guys. Not bad. Easy, easy. Ah. Thanks, Red Eye Warrior, for the uh, see just just the just the hair, just the hair in the chat room was all that was needed. Bold Verstappen. Let's have a look at the replay of that. I'm hot, and you're 
Hang on a minute, the replay doesn't know where the la- oh. Okay, let's go. Broke the replay thing. There we go. One air. What's the shortcut to change cameras on the keyboard? Such a hard car to get that performance out of it. Like, there's a bunch of corners where you just have to take them. You know, just right. Well, for the outside cameras, yeah, it's F, F keys, but I'm not sure which ones. My goodness. Thanks for following, Pama. Welcome. Don't know what the next challenge is. I hope it's not too hard. <laughs> We're drifting in some of these corners. <laughs> Look at that! Laying down the rubber. Yeah, I mean it only took it only took like four hours, so it's pretty easy hot lap, I think. What was the one that took us the um the bloody Toyota at Villa Lunga <laughs> took us say eight hours, I think, to pass. Yeah, I've, I know World Team Series, but it's normally it's normally empty when I've looked at it. Yeah, that Supra was terrible. I'm really bad with slower cars. Because I think it's harder to work out the lines that you have to take. With the faster cars, you can um, uh, nick your bit. You're a bit delayed on the stream. With faster cars, you can more quickly try different lines, and you know, it's more direct.
Yeah, the the, um, the 1970s or 80s RSR was is really nice. That would be good around the Nordschleife. Take the time and learn it. Yeah, nearly beat the super life for eighty three percent grip. Oh man. You need a break after each of these challenges. <laughs> it's unhinged through that corner. Just need to do the track in real life now with this car. Be fine. Sure, I bet I bet it's nice and chill in real life, you know. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to drive fast around the Nordschleife in any car that doesn't have a uh, roll cage, and I'd always want to wear a helmet. I really don't feel safe in cars that don't have roll cages. As soon as you've got a roll cage, I'm like, oh, it's fine. What, in real life? Yeah, the world records are probably set with, um, like, uh, different conditions. Ah, oh, nice. How much is it? Wait, you, uh, last time I went to the Nordschleife, it was 35 euros a lap. Is that how much you're paying? Was it gone up, or can you buy like a season, cheaper season ticket? Woo! I'll do. Good stuff. That's another one down. Uh. We're now on 36.9. Oh, hang on. Not updated. Oh, maybe it's just got stuck. Best lap. 7.19.5. If only we could have done that the first time. Brands hatch. Here we go. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. What's the best time of year for you to go? Because um, every time I've gone, they have to close it every, like, 30 minutes. It's shots due to, like, motorcyclists driving into walls. So, so 750 for the whole uh, tourist wagon. Tourist life or whatever. Oh, what was the time? I didn't check what the time was we needed to get. <laughs> didn't even look. Let me uh, work out the time here. Oh, look at this. Isn't this from uh, that comic, uh, Speed Race or whatever? Uh, well, I think they should have separate sessions for motorbikes, to be honest. Like, yeah, every time I've been there, there's a helicopter picking up a motorcyclist. 
136. Yeah, they should have. They should just have separate, tight like separate motorcycle sessions. That, so it's totally separate. Even if it was like, I don't know, for like. Uh, certain days of the certain weeks of the month or something i don't know uh the alien medals are in uh the single player against ai i think it's a difficulty i don't think there's alien in uh hot laps if there is it's gonna be <laughs> if there is we're gonna be in trouble i mean I'm pretty happy with a 2019.5 around the Nordschleife in that previous car. I know some fast drivers that have been doing these hot laps because uh, they saw me doing them. And uh, they were struggling with some of them, so. The problem with the motorbikes is, like, so I've, I've done the, um, I've had a few passenger laps around the Nordschleife uh, and... It's just too random with all the traffic on it. So, like, it's nice as a thing for people to drive their road car a little bit faster. But then you have, like, a pickup truck. Then you have, like, cars that are six six times faster than, like, your bog-standard road cars. So the speed differences are all over the place. And, the, and then you have people that have no, you know, they, they can't handle oversteer or understeer properly. So they do weird shit. Fortunately, Josh Josh, real life is more forgiving than any simulator until it isn't. <laughs> until you die. But like the the basic handling properties in reality, aside from when the you know, if there's oil or something or like an issue, technical fault, the basic handling properties are, are generally a little bit more forgiving than Sims. But then if you if you make a big mistake in real life you can die, so it kind of, you know. There's no alien medals for hot laps, thankfully. Praise. Yes! <laughs> I would have died. Yeah. Oh, we'd have a setup for this. We'll just watch this. Okay, let's go. This is probably not a hard challenge. I hope. I'm hot, and you're not. Thanks for following. Genta, welcome guys. Appreciate the follows. Oh yeah, reminder, if you're watching on YouTube, click the like button. Appreciate that. Helps promote the stream. Um, if you want to... Thanks for following. Uh, Sut West, if you want to support... If you want to be a sponsor of the challenge, anyone that donates over £5 or 5 of whatever their currency is, uh, gets on the name, the name list above us. And uh, if you want to be a channel member... Uh, you can on YouTube and Twitch and that supports us and allows us to do these pointless things uh, that are silly. <laughs> so I appreciate all the support, guys, and uh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Just watching is good enough, though. I don't expect anything from people, so. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see, Sean D. It's nice. This is the car from Speed Racer. Is, isn't this Danger Mouse's car? Hang on. I think this is Danger Mouse's car. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no, it's very similar to Speed Racer. I think they probably modelled it on this.
I like Brands Hatch. It's my local track. This seems all right to handle. Hello, Stu West. I'm sorry, sorry that you've been watching for 10 years. You must have absolutely no brain cells left. Woke up early today. I set up need some work. Good roll. Uh, not really. I mean, I could use a haze pattern, but I find it easier on my hands using shifters. It's a bit. For, it's, you can actually shift quicker with a haze pattern in AC. I've oh, locked up. I need to uh, break sooner for that. Can't remember a good time. This setup is terrible that I've got on this car there. Nice better, more rear brake bars has helped. J patterns where it's really at.
This car needs an axe. <laughs> Break really early with this. And uh, the setup's terrible. <laughs> You have to put your feet out of the windows.
time did I need to get? Let's keep the chat PG. Let's keep that, so let's just open the rear diff a bit more. Ah, no, I think we can. Here we go. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be too hard. Later, Why is the tyre grip 85%? Oh, 
is that initial after warming This car is super weird. It has aero for the left and the right. That's weird. It's like an oval car. Woo! It's been in the game of Muscle Garage. need to do we need to change the tire settings um, such a popcorn this the tires are on 85 there's like a bug where you need to Oh, we'll do it, Sean. We, we, we got it, we got it. Easy, easy mode. for drifting this.
There we go, a bit better. It's because some of the tyres take time to wear off the new surface. So if you increase the tyre wear, it allows the tyres to get up to, you know, like to grain in initially. To get all the rat shit off them from the factory.
easy. There you go. Save that setup for people. How do you save a setup? Beautiful. Moving, we're moving, guys. Put some music on here. Hold your breath. All the moves we're making. <sighs> oh no! Back to the Nordsch life. Why is it always? This should be called Nordsch Lifer Simulator. Ah oh, dear. <laughs> I love the Nordsch Lifer. Not in slow cars, oh my god. <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, 37.4. Thanks everyone for clicking the like button. Reminder there. Thanks for supporting us, thanks for following, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching the adverts. No, we're doing all the hot laps. Seventy-two percent done. Some of them could be really easy as well. So, look at all this. Time Tesco's opens. The music stopped and you were gone. And I was hoping for another dawn. Now I'm looking everywhere for you. Cause I need another dance. We need another chance. I'm waiting for, waiting for 10 a.m. Ah. Four hours till we can get some, uh, some non alcoholic beer. No, I don't really have 25 hour shops near me. We've, we've been doing loads of Nord ones. Oh, you, you, did you do this one easily? That's good. Because <laughs> this one took, this one took bloody, uh, how long did it take? Like four, four hours? It's good. It's been really good fun, though, to be honest. Like, it's fun having, like, these... This one was really fun, even though it's stupid. But the lap that you have to do is just crazy, and that's what makes it fun. You're not allowed to buy food in... Well, yeah, but you could just put your foot in a fjord and pick up some fish, right? This part of the track looks like a bit of female anatomy. <laughs> What's what's this tree representing, eh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There's probably some Kunos humor there. Another Porsche. Yeah, yeah, it's probably a good idea. It's good. That's a good plan. Yeah, Nord 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 Schleifer life. Nord Nord Lifer. What was the time we needed? 
seven something. I oh, yeah, would pick this. I got a bit of wing. I I really just don't personally. I don't really understand cars like this. Um, I think they're predominantly made for people that can't drive very well. <laughs> controversial, controversial take there. But right, if you like driving really quick, right, you you would be like, I need a race car. Like you'd be like, oh, I want an F4 car. I want an F3 car. I want a Radical or something. Because you just find road cars sluggish, like even really good ones. Fine. If, but so then, if you like drifting, you'd be like, well, I want a car for drifting. So it's not going to be like one of these Porsche, BMW. Like, might be a you might be a drift setup car, but like it wouldn't be this generally, like a like a stock bought one, if you see what I mean. And if you like, if you like the re like the general track day experience then surely like a, something like an MX-5 that like the speeds are relevant so something like this which is like really easy like some of the BMWs and some of these cars are stupendously easy to drive so they might be I guess like this is what I mean like I think they're for people that can't drive very well yeah I've got no, I, I'm, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with a road legal car but I'm just saying you can't drive you, if you can't drive it on the road, it's just a wrist rest, Alan. I've just bought another one actually. To, it should be arriving today. It's just um, it's a it's the keyboard tray from a Razer Hydra. If you go on Amazon, just buy um, just buy a keyboard wrist rest and uh, just put that there. I've just bought some more foam to put on it. Well, ankles are basically wrists. Um. Yeah, so if you wanted a car to drive on public roads, you'd probably want... Like, BMW is actually quite good for just public road driving. They're very smooth and comfortable and quiet. Um, it's, it just, like... So I guess someone just likes Porsches, so that's why they buy it. So it's, it's, not, really an, it's not really a rational thing. It's just, a, it's just an irrational someone likes X type of car. So that's fine, um, you know. It's kind of like kind of like the watch thing, isn't it? Really, um, some people just like certain designs of watches. That it's not really about telling the time, but I'm just from from an objective perspective, these cars really don't make much sense. A lot of cars don't make sense. But like I, I totally like get like vintage cars, like actual decent vintage cars. There probably are some new cars that are good. I just uh I don't I don't see the appeal of having a super super refined car on a racetrack. <laughs> like I would rather personally I'd rather have an actual race car. But then, yeah, may maybe maybe this Porsche is like super super nice to drive at road speeds, and they like how it looks. But then Porsches break down all the time and cost a lot to maintain. <laughs> so even like I, I just like I, for me I, I I think like you basically need a track car and a road car. It's like two different things, isn't it? It's like um. Whenever people try to make something that does lots of stuff, it then fails at doing anything well. I think you end up with that problem very quickly with cars. on here
Well, that, but that's what I'm saying, Sean. So, I would... My sacrifice would be to have a Fiat 500 <laughs> or a Skoda City go and then uh, and then have a... The problem is, I think I would just want a, a Radical or something. Or, you know, something quick. Like, or maybe like an Aerial Atom. Oh, no, I know, I would totally... I would totally have a um, Caterham 7 or an Aerial Atom. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah but it's not exactly practical is it but i like if i'm if i was buying a car that isn't so in, for me i would either have a car that's like a, a fiat 500 skoda city go or what you know whatever's like the the least depreciating most reliable boring vehicle ever for driving you know for road driving or i'd be like right I'm having an aerial ladder. I go, it's the extremes. I, I just couldn't, I wouldn't be happy like flandering in the middle. That's it. It's free to all music. Yeah, you're pe people will be paying a shitload for stuff that's like, doesn't make any sense on a public road. And then also the right reliability will be worse. The like, it's like, even this even went back to like mountain bikes where. Everyone would buy like dual suspension downhill mountain bikes when I was a teenager, and it's like, but just spend 200, and 200 quid and just get a hardtail with nice front suspension and basic features, and it and it would be it would work better. But yeah, it's, it's, it's what it is. I you know, depend. There's a if you start trying to be rational about everything, it's you know. Watch me uh, drive this and be like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> to be fair, the other Porsche we drove, like, this does feel like it handles nice. The other Porsche we drove felt really nice. So maybe, maybe if you just want to, like, go around a track and, like, have a nice smooth ride and just nice and chill. Maybe that's what it's about. Then I would, if I was taking the car around the Nordschleife in real life, I'd be just... I don't trust other people. They're too random. I don't trust them to not, like, leave oil on the track. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Public road... Like, even when I'm on my bicycle, I don't trust anybody around me. Quiddlebacker ho. Sounds like something from Harry Potter, that. I might, I might have to make a coffee, guys. Do you think we can do this challenge? Oh, hang on. Did we pass the other challenge? I think we did. This is a, this is a new poll. Isn't it weird that you can learn the layout of a track like this in a, from a video game? Like, it's pretty crazy that... I mean, I have been around here as a passenger, as I say, a few times, but... I know. I, I have a DeLonghi Dedica. I, I really enjoy coffee. I have um, nice coffee beans that I grind myself as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> and see, that's the problem with the Porsche. Radical wouldn't have done that. Radical wouldn't have done that, guys. <laughs> Radical would have just turned in. Oops. That was not the right thing to do. It, oh, you don't need a truck. You can just tow it behind your car with a trailer. You can, you can tow a Radical behind a BMW. No, I... I I drink non-alcoholic beer, tea, coffee, whatever. Bitter drink, sweet drinks. I don't actually know. I try not to drink Coke and stuff. Doesn't a radical only weigh like? They're not heavy. 
Yeah, tow the radical behind the Porsche. Sorted. Yeah, exactly. I can I can consume anything. Pure skill. Oh man, I, I really want a like a cheeseburger. <laughs> Goodness. This car is a lot lighter than what we were driving before around here. Well, it feels lighter, maybe it isn't. I've seen Ryan. Yeah, I've seen so much shit at Nordschleife, and then uh, I know I know some people that live near it as well, and they're always telling me stories. I don't think you can take that, um, clip that curb anymore in real life. Uh, crazy story, I don't know, like people crashing their cars and they're not affording the fine. So Nordschleifer doesn't give them their car back. <laughs> British people. Because we're not, because of Brexit. So they're like, thank you, we'll keep the car. Goodbye. You have to pay for the armco for the track being closed. And there's a whole bunch of things. Oh, is it good now? Oh, it's no good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's like little bits of details on the track that change over time from subsidence or just when they resurface it a lot as well. Yeah, but don't you know that ACC's the premium simulator? <laughs> I really hope the next AC's not got the issues that ACC has with its physics and force feedback.
Oh, I'll tell you. Cars mental through there. This would be a fun car to drive around the Nordschleife. <laughs> I don't think I would in real life, though. Like, I would on a closed track. If I had a roll cage in it and I had a helmet, then I would, but not in a public. What time is Formula One? in the afternoon or in the morning. Is that on now? There you go. I helped you. I've helped you out. Oh no, now I'm going to lose viewers to Formula One. Oh, <laughs> oh bronze. Well, you should, to you should totally... Uh, Leave me on in the background, as I reminded you. <laughs> background muscle. Well, good alarm clock. Can't endorse pirate piracy. Unless it's sexy pirates. What lap time did we need? Was it seven thirty? Oh dear. It wasn't seven thirty that we needed, was it? That's that's difficult. Red flag, red flag. No, there's no no Formula One spoilers, please. No spoilers. The only spoilers here are car spoilers. Typing shit about Formula One. I don't, it, it's not hard to not spoiler films in sports for people. A 
are we doing? Is it 35 we needed? Have <laughs> like a morning whiskey and go to bed. All right, fair enough. Time's not a hard time. Thank you. When you're at my level of talent, you don't need luck. It's pure skill and pure luck and skill. Driving, welcome. Lunch belt, hello. not a 7.30 flat that we need, is it? I mean, if it's 7.30, this is going to be so hard to do. <laughs> oh, dear. Is, isn't it? It's 7.30. <laughs> oh, Christ. Why? I, I don't know which car it is. It's a Porsche. It's got four wheels. help 
No, I don't want to know anything. Stop spoilering. Well, that's a fourth gear corner. We know that now. No silvers. It's not for me, it's for other people that are, might want to watch it later. Ah, we should do 130. We got well good at this. Life of Master. It doesn't really make any difference to me using H pattern or shifters. I can be good with a H pattern, it's just more comfortable and less physical to use the sequential shifters. So that's why I use them. If I was just. Yeah. Once you know, like, the shift points and the lines and stuff, it's just. Yeah, it's just less effort. <laughs> it's just being lazy, basically. In terms of input, if you're reasonably good at H pattern shifting, we don't it didn't really make any difference. Probably a little bit faster to H pattern because of the way they do the game. Oh no! That's that's why you. <laughs> oh, that's that's why you don't do the toys wagon there. One little, one little bit wide, and that's it. You've written your car off. Ah. Oh. Now this is. I'll just check here. Ah, oh, one thirty-one. Shit. What time was I doing? Oh my, my best is at one thirty-two. Yeah, we can do one. We can do one thirty though. Whoops. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, seven seven thirty one, not one thirty one. I need to grab something to eat. I'm gonna put some fish on. I'm starving. Oh I'm so hungry. Thanks for clicking the like button on YouTube, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. We'll be back in a second, guys. Just going to put some fish in the uh, oven. Let's have a coffee as well.
Oh. Woo! Who's still with us? <laughs> okay. Why are you awake, Utrid? What's wrong with you? I got some. I got some fish on. We got some fish. Thanks for following Tabard Gaming. Good morning to everyone. We got some fish. I made a quadruple shot of coffee. <laughs> Not bad. Mega coffee. Oh, I did some nice laps. Got the legends of muscle in the chat room. Completa Tetativo inbound. Right, let's do this, guys. Oh, we're doing a new poll. We did the last one. Um, new poll. Gold before seven. There we go. Let's get in there. Let's go. Great start. I wonder if we do racing with subs. <laughs> if on these tracks now we will like, absolutely blitz them. Be interested to see. We'll like, obviously blitz Utrid every single time. Don't even need to try. Just as default. Default Utrid destroyed. I am Utrid, son of Utrid. Hello, Frank Zappa. How's it going? Good morning. Exactly. Just destroying every time. <laughs> Destroyed in every possible way, psychologically, on the racetrack. Hundred percent destroyed. Good morning. We've been beasting through some of these challenges, Mr. Zappa. We did, we uh, completed the last Nords challenge. It took three hours. Now we got pretty good at the Nord Schleifer in slippy cars. Esports. Thank you. 
Yeah, I, I, I don't think anybody has completed all of Assetto Corsa 100%. But well, there might be someone, but you'd have to be a bit weird to do it. <laughs> you'd have to be a real loser. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you'd have to be someone with absolutely no life. Probably better not to do what I've done, to be honest. It's not really recommended. I've been really enjoying this, though. <laughs> for, for, weirdly, it's been really enjoyable trying all the different content. It's the best thing I've done gaming-wise for ages. stuck on the outside of the corner there. A lot of these corners have like a bit of extra camber on the inside that really helps maintain speed through the corner. Bloody hell. It's not going to be this lap. <laughs> We had too many we had too many one pound fish on the wheels for that one. One pound fish very very good. One pound fish. Come and have a look. One pound fish. Oh, we did it. <laughs> What's up? Oh, 1398. Well, we did it. <laughs> that was pretty good. Take that. Were that good? Oh. Pretty good. Talent. Surprise success. It was the coffee. Here we go. Okay, oh no, it's another Nordschleifer. 
Bloody hell, it's constant Nordschleifer. <laughs> Absolute Nordschleifer abuse. This should just be called Nordschleifer, Sid. Oh, dear. 70 out of 97. What are we on? 37.9. Completa Tetativo. Eight thirty-eight. Oh God, it's a slow car. How is it so slow? It's a bloody. Oh no. I hope it drives well. Eight thirty-eight, guys. Can you remember that? Thanks, Frank. Eight thirty-eight. Oh bloody! That's the one with the fan in it. <laughs> It's, that's not a fan, that's actually a, a DJ deck playing music. How is it so slow despite having a fan in it? I don't understand. Stiff and low. Eight thirty-eight. Christ. I've got a bad feeling about this, guys. I've got a bad feeling. Oh, at least the wheel's in the middle. Pound shop special. Good luck, have fun. <laughs> oh my. Hello. <laughs> it's nice to have brakes on your car. <laughs> Bloody hell. I do like to have brakes. Now I know why it's slow, it's fast, but the brakes don't work. Oh no. Turn the brake power down a bit. Oh no, guys. I didn't have any brakes. This is going to be a nightmare. They put the fan on the back instead of putting brakes in the car. I will do. going to be so bad to do, guys. Yeah, it doesn't have a turbo. It doesn't have a controllable turbo in it. Every old car has a turbo. It has nice amounts of chronic understeer. It's what I always look for in a race car. say to myself what would I like I would like 
ridiculous amounts of understeer, please. Why? <laughs> Jesus Christ, back comes flying out with the brake bars further back. We're doing all right until then. Snag rear. Oh, this has a really snaggy rear on it. We're doing all right then. I'm gonna need some fish for this. Oh, this is gonna be so hard to do. It locks up easy as well. This car's a nightmare. I think we can stiffen the suspension up even more. Bloody like bouncy castle. Bloody hell, what is going on with this car? This suspension is crazy. have five days of this.
my goodness. We are gonna die trying to do this. What's the time I need to get? What was it? Uh, we did 8.52 there. We did crash for like 10 seconds. 38. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it'll be all right. Yeah, because if we could do, if we did a uh, bronze with the crash. Oh my god! Ah, <laughs> uh, eight thirty-eight. It just keeps getting harder. I hate Kunos. on maximum stiffness and minimum height. Pay do bears, yeah. We did it, didn't we? Now this is a new We're on a new prediction. Oh, it's still on the submission. Delete that. New new poll. Start prediction. There you go. Oh, <laughs> this is so bad. Ah, oh, this is we're so screwed. Dear. We are I gotta have my get the fish. <laughs> Optimism has left my body.
This is a disaster. Whose idea was it to do this challenge? They're obviously an idiot. Absolute fish bonanza. I mean, it'd be interesting to see what we, uh, a normal lap looks like. These old cars, they're like super unhinged. <laughs> a little bit too much throttle and they're going mental. I would argue it takes more skill to drive these cars fast than modern Formula One cars. And then the thing is if you crash one of these cars you're done. It's got carpet in it, that's a proper car. Formula One cars don't have carpet. I I think you could rate all cars based off if they've got carpet or not in them.
Right. I am fished. You ready guys? Fish is, fish makes you slippy, which makes you easier to drive these cars. Easy win. Pole is open if you want to get in there. Nobody's there's there's no no is the only vote. Difficulty level, yes. Okay, let's try that again. It says pet on the dash because you'll need a you'll need pet therapy after trying to drive this car.
Hello, Ritual Horse. Shadow pass. I, I can't read messages while I was driving this car. Sorry, it's insane. Nobody else is stupid enough. Oh, you cock! It just locked up over the bump and then I couldn't make the corner. <laughs> we'll see what lap time we get. It just the bump caused the car to, the tyres to lock. There's not enough drag to make the corner. Do you properly?
Oh shit, what time do we need to get? 8.30? Is it 8.30 that we need? Oh no. Ah. Oh. Guys, what time did we need? 8.30? Oh, it can't be 8.30. <sighs> if it's 8.30, we're screwed. Is it 8... It's not 8.38. Was it 8.38? Was it really 8.38 that we needed? No. I don't believe you. If it's 8.38, we can do it. 8.30... Oh, we can do it! We can do it! We just have, we just have to do a clean lap. Ah. Oh. <laughs> we just have to do really clean drive. Ah, uh, no, we got this. We got this. Because we did it. We did eight thirty-eight there, basically, and that was with mistakes. So we just have to dial it down a bit. Oh yes, the muscle hustle is back. Get in okay, there. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready, guys? What was the bet? The the uh, thing for before eight a.m. Ah, oh, we could do it. We can do it in the next few laps. Got it. Easy. Easy! It's happening. Look at my gloves. <laughs> Let's go! Let's do it! Thank you. It, it does. P Shut up, Palookan. No. This is fine. I can't use a H pattern because my my left hand is broken. That's my excuse. Is I, I mean I shouldn't even be sim racing now. So look, it does. It still counts. Shut up. Thank you very much for the donation. Do I need to add you to the list? How much was that? How much did you donate? I can't even see. What's 50 sec? <laughs> I don't know what 50 sec is. Is that five? Is that like, is that like uh, 50p or is that five, five pounds? Do I need to add Palooka to the sponsor list? <laughs> invalidate my file. I'll invalidate your file. I'm driving the disabled version of this car for people that have to use H pattern. All right, let's go. Let's go. We've <laughs> got grip packs. I've edited the uh, the code. Jesus Christ. car has more kick on it than a football player in the World Cup final. Thank you very much. I'll put you on the list anyway. Really appreciate the support. So not not many people watch us play AC. So uh, dependent on donations. <laughs> so thank you very much. Let's go. Oh, shut up. I'll void you in a minute. Oh, my goodness, guys. 
It's all under control. It's all under control. I mean, shouldn't we really be playing this on a 50 Newton meter wheel as well? <laughs> Fully f with motion. <laughs> Fully legit mode. Why is it drifting? I'm actually using a dance mat, you can't see it on screen. This is a bloody work, I'm sweating here. This has up this hill! Bloody hell! Oh my god! <laughs> Just infinite power! I mean, that's a nice, that was a good lap. That was a bloody good lap. It should be the time. Jesus Christ, 326. Oh, 
no! No! Yes! <laughs> Go! Go! One! Two! Three! Four! Five! Six! Yes! <laughs> oh, that was close. That was close. Almost walled it at the end there. Oh my god, that this car. I've been at that's not been at the gym. <laughs> Christ. Oh my god. That was so so close. Just a replay of that. I need a little break. Thanks, Ollie. Thanks, Rev. Thanks, guys. Bloody hell, that was a good lap. That was hard work. Bloody hell, guys. Yeah, five, five. I, I thought I had as well, Frank. <laughs> like, I mean, it was only because I happened to just downshift an engine brake and it happened to stop. It was pure fluke. Oh, it was intentional, obviously. Jesus Christ. I mean such a beast it's actually it's not the worst of some of the vintage cars but like because the turbo is not too bad but it's the it's the downshifting but also hooking it up and then that you you do need to get on the throttle but fortunately it's not too bad but you have to like be really careful it goes from it's, it actually could do with a little bit more front downforce but it's not too bad oh, I mean look at that it does have a lot of downforce and maybe it's because it's heavy I don't know But it'd be interesting to <laughs> just look at it on the power. Oh yeah, Palookan. Oh, thank you. Full RPM washing machine, yeah. I hope it's a direct drive washing machine. Need to add Palooka to the uh to the donor wall. How do you spell his name? P I L L O K U N. Thanks for supporting us. P I L L O K U N. It was 38, 838 was gold. Whoa. It has incredible mechanical grip. No. Oh, <laughs> look at that! Look at the rears. I mean, it's a ridiculous car. Oh, I might. I mean, it'd be so good to see one of these lap in real life. I wonder. Uh, I don't. How much does it? In what way does it affect performance of a vehicle? Uh, having the w rear wheels further out compared to the front.
Oh, like, like the, the rear wheels are further outwards, front wheels are in. You get that a lot of vintage cars. Wonder if it adds to stability as well. Like the, the rear wheelbase is wider than the front. Not uh, the tires are bigger as well, but. It moving around. Wow! <laughs> wow! Oh, it's so good. Look at it. Proper race car. I was obviously fully in control of the car at all times as well, just just so in case anyone wondered. It might have looked like I wasn't, but you know, I, I was. Obviously. Oh, that's a great camera shot. Best shot of the ring, that one. <laughs> that's uh, that's the uh, main TV view. how you unwind after driving it's like Richard Burns rally just watch your watch your laps not a bad sounding car actually Morning, Jar Q. Oh, yeah, we're all right. Yeah, we got up at like two in the morning. I had like eight hours sleep. That's good. Good for me. I wouldn't say it was a rest, but. Wee. Yeah, I'm really open. I mean, I think I'm real five engine. Wee. <laughs> what a stupid car. Oh, here we go, here we go, guys. <laughs> Textbook. That's the line. <laughs> that's the line. Oh, dear, that's so funny. Let's have another view of that. Oh, dear, we so nearly binned it. After the whole lap. <laughs> what other camera angles are there? <laughs> Handbrake turn. That's how you do that corner. I, I don't care what anyone says. I don't, <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if you say that that's not the fastest way to take the corner. All that matters is look at the braking. The braking in a straight line. <laughs> 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 
totally missed it. Oh my god. I'm like, oh, oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. Yeah, I nailed it. Textbook. You're meant to leave rubber marks on the racetrack. It's how you know you're at the limit. <sighs> right. That was good fun. That was a damn buster if there was other cars on the track. Uh, that was the a 917K. Uh, now we're doing the Porsche Hybrid. Hopefully we have some easy ones now. Bloody hell. 38.4% complete to Tetativo. Beautiful progress. Thirty-eight point four. Seventy-two out of ninety-seven hot laps. This should be easy. One minute forty-three point five. No, if we have another mental Nordschleife in a shit car. Although to be honest, the Nordschleife ones aren't too bad now because we've done so many, so many laps of the Nordschleife that uh, we got pretty good at it. Like, I'm actually... We've improved my lapping on the Nordschleife massively. Like, uh, I didn't even know about some of the corner, like, some of the lines through the corners. And you, like, learn by doing lots of hot lapping. You learn that some corners you're, like... It's not intuitive, but you know from the camp... Like, you, you do it, and then you're like, oh, it's the camber of the road basically means that you can confidently just go into like third gear or something and keep your foot pinned like you'd have to worry that the car's gonna wander off the track i did try it yeah but acc's got really crappy physics so <laughs> i can't I just like it's just not even close to this uh frankie donk it was 40 percent just for hot laps so this is this is uh 38 of the entire game I, ch I changed from uh, just hot laps, yeah. Because it gets better for to see the overall completion. Yeah. Whoa. This is awesome, though. It's a really fun challenge. Uh, this is this is harder than Dark Souls, surely, because I'm. I'm a pretty experienced sim racer. I'm not saying I'm good, but I'm a pretty experienced sim racer. So, if even for me it takes me eight hours to pass one level, <laughs> like name another video game where it takes you eight hours to pass a level. Like I can't think it. Like Half Life One takes fourteen hours to complete the old bloody game. <laughs> oh yeah, we could put the formula wheel on for this. Yeah, this is this has got to be the hardest game on Steam to complete. Hey boys, hey girls, superstar gamer muscle. Yeah, thanks for clicking the like button if you have. I wonder if people will wake up. It's seven thirty nine Sunday morning. You're headed over to Twitch. All right. I appreciate people also watching on Twitch, uh, like watching adverts and stuff. Thank you. And we do have adverts on YouTube, but I don't think there's as many. Right. Easy gold. Okay. Do it. Oh, I've not driven this before. It's 
automatic curse deployment. Another washing machine car. Thanks for subscribing, welcome. Matthias Jacobs, thank you for subscribing on YouTube. That's alright. Thanks for watching. I, I was the wasn't expecting to be able to stream today. I thought my body would be too wrecked. <laughs> Normally when I do a 16 hour live stream, my body's just like, nope. Was all right, this car. It's a rocket. Ah, oh, we didn't get, didn't get gold. Time was gold on this one, 43. Oh, yeah, well, th thanks for subscribing with Prime as well. Ah, this car's good. G GT um, Porsche 911 GT3 Cup. Uh, 1 minute 41 at Zandvoort. See if we can do this one quickly.
This car is fantastic as well. Oh, this this is a this is a really really good car in AC. Yeah, I don't know why they did such a good job on the Porsches. No, we're not allowed to talk about iRacing Porsche. Oh, they're so bad. They're so bad. Oh, I mean, genuinely, what on earth? Just inc so unbelievably bad. It's a farce. Don't get me started. Soulless bricks in iRacing. Oh man, this is going to be quite hard to get gold. What was gold time in this? Good car though, so that helps.
empty out. This is well hard. <laughs> Maybe we need to set up tweaks. Uh, maybe lower. Oh, it's not really a high speed track. Christ. Well, it's not much we can do. We just, we just have to drive better. That's always a problem. <laughs> when, it, when it's down to driving better, we, we have a see. We have an issue. But the car's handling nice. I just. Uh, I think we just need to be super, 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 super smooth. Oh dear. Guys, you're going to have to get out of the back seat of the car here. Because it's uh, you're weighing it down. It's too heavy. Car's, car's far too heavy. Do you mind getting out? Uh, you're all sat on the roof. <laughs> Backseat driving. Oh dear. I got the backseat driving emoji floating around. That's so stupid. Oh, kiddie locks. I knew I shouldn't have left them on. High beam. What's the alarm for? I'll probably acknowledging low fuel and stuff. Hello, Channel VR. How's it going? Oh, dear. Maybe we can upgrade the engine. That'll help. to work. This isn't work. This is this is just begging. <laughs> I don't really work. I'm like I'm just like a person begging, begging for donations and uh, begging for people to watch terrible adverts on Twitch. That's my life. for people to buy stuff we're all beggars yeah I 
I beg to differ. This is such a hard challenge. Bloody hell. Oh my god, this is so hard. <laughs> This car requires you to be so precise for lap time, like, because it's actually really hooked up, but you have to be so precise. <sighs> Five tenths. You can't, if you slip, if you get any slip, you've lost the time. Bloody hell. It's really hard. Need another lead to yellow audio set, yeah.
Whoa! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought I'd let it go out wide a little bit. We'll be fine. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> and it wasn't fine. Jeez. Smashing your forehead against a beehive. Just wanted some honey. I don't play ACC, it's not good enough. Oh, thanks for following you, Uncle Clear fellow. I didn't hook up the final corner. Hello, Thomas. How's it going? Hiding hedges. <laughs> Should be called hedge let loose.
you stream too much. <laughs> Do you know that Thomas it, originally the warning at the bottom said uh, this this stream contains humour, including improv and absurdity that some viewers may find <laughs> offensive, and then it said and then it was additionally certain German streamers. <laughs> Playing high racing may clip and repost content to, in a shallow attempt to deter, to deter critical viewer. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, criticism. But we got rid of the German because it was confusing people. But it was pretty funny joke, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but people people that don't know w w didn't really understand. So, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> We can't make the disclaimer a joke. Not everything can be a joke. Oh, hang on. Everything is a joke. <laughs> it, it was started off as like a serious thing. And it de <laughs> turned into a joke immediately. Everything <laughs> turns into a sudden joke. Can't even help it. I can't like... It's impossible. Everything is a joke. It's impossible to be serious. Shocking. Make it a bit bigger so it's more clear. <sighs> it's a good warning, though, for people that are humorless tits. <laughs> for people, for people lacking uh, the ability to understand humour. I think it's a great warning. Oh. I know. I, I I especially when someone makes a joke on something that I've been affected by, like I don't know, like uh, anxiety, depression, or like dyslexia, or like you know, if anyone makes jokes out of those things, especially because um, you know people can make jokes about other stuff that affect other people, but you know any anything that's affected me, and that's just out of order, to be honest. Yeah, bold, bold jokes. Fa hang on, <laughs> fat, f low IQ. Jo hang on. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, but any time like people just are willing to make bold jokes, I, I, I think it's. I can't control how I look. Well, you can control being a bit of a fatty, but like, you know, I, and I just think it's really, uh, you know, it's really distressing. So, so I draw the line at any humour that's somehow related to me uh that's where that's where i think people should know better you know pigeon handlers do you know what i mean i think we can all agree that all all, all comedy is funny until it's about something related to yourself it, at which point it needs to be blocked it's the only the only reasonable course of action No jokes about the British Empire, please, guys. No, no jokes about um, no jokes about Britain murdering people. Uh, no jokes about capitalism. Uh, no jokes about the Queen. Uh, no, no. Do you know what I mean? Just, uh, no, that's not, not a joking matter, I'm afraid. No jokes about jokes. Look, see, both of you tried to make a no joke about jokes comment, which, what a joke. To be fair, the British Museum is a great place to put stolen artefacts because no one goes in there. It's the last place someone would check. Thanks, Audio Slade. As a reminder, guys, if you want to sponsor the challenge that we're doing, any uh, donation of five or whatever in your currency gets you on the sponsor list. 
Uh, we also have uh, thanks for watching adverts and being members and everything. You can link your Prime for free, and you don't get adverts. Uh, or you can just sit and watch. That's I appreciate that as well. You can click the like button on YouTube. That's an option. That's an advanced option. Few people know about that hack. This simple hack will make your the number go up, the likes go up. It's amazing. Such an incredible hack. Where were you when you found out about the uh, like button hack? We've got the mini muscle here. If you go to Sim Stars, you can check that out. We've got mini Jardia as well. Maybe we should zoom in more. Oh wow, this camera's warm. for you. Did I want to get 136? Uh, I don't know. Not on here. Now, can you not do spoilers for Christ's sake? You like the people that come in chat and are like, Formula losers. No, but like, it's the anything, anything related to sport. You can you now. Now we know Lance Stroll is not going to win. He could have. He could have won. You never know. Anything could happen in Formula One. Max Verstappen could win, or Max Verstappen could win, or even Max Verstappen could win. So like, you know, anything can happen. Any anything can Verstappen. See what I did there? Formula One, anything can Verstappen. Copyright Game of Muscle. Um, of course I'm more interested. Seeing someone that fails miserably at driving trying to get lap times is the uh, most exciting thing one could possibly plan to spend their time doing. This car is really hard to be quick in. I like how the hot lap competitions in, in AC go from, oh, you can do it with your, in your sleep to, oh, you have to be an alien. Oh. Right. Let's do this. Cold ties. It's a really weird track, this. Uh, no, we, we will get 100% steam achievements by 100% in the game.
Jack's following Joey Molo. Come on, power and glory. Merry Christmas. Beautiful. Uh, I have the Moser wheel on like 70% on the wheel and then like 51 in game here because this Formula Rim is, um, the Formula Rim's quite small. And uh, I'll turn it up to feel the car more, but I just said I set it to the absolute minimum to feel feel grip, basically. Right, beautiful. That was a tricky. That was quite a tricky uh, one to do. Yeah. Um, VR's coming to uh, WRC, but it's Unreal 4 engine, so it's a shame they didn't do WRC in Unreal 5. <laughs> so weird. Probably would have been a lot better. EA is so random as a company. Velalunga time! Oh dear, we've been here before, guys. 39.4%. <laughs> Of the whole game, thirty almost almost at the halfway point, bloody hell. I don't know if the races are easier or harder. I think the hot laps are probably the hardest thing. So drifting's not hard. Uh yeah, I'm real five it still has some issues, but it generally performs a lot better it does VR and stuff better um, does a whole bunch of stuff better can look nicer it can run more efficiently could do larger environments better as well shadows better this is part of the, this is basically the career mode Vela longer time. One forty five five we need to get. Yeah, UE four only looks good in VR if you have a filthy fast computer and you um super sample and things like that. Oh yeah. These Porsches are normally quite nice. This looks, this is a nice colour. One 
What was the time we needed again? I've already forgot. <laughs> For every time. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Ace, Ace, Ace is gonna be amazing, obviously. Kunos never mess things up. Right, this car's a right float wagon. Guys, really bad understeer. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> this is the worst Porsche I've driven in AC. Still better than the Porsche Cup in iRacing, but really bad car.
They put understeer in the understeer so that it understeers more when it's understeering. Hello, Derez. Thank you, Frank. Oh shit, what was gold? Forty five flat. Forty five five, okay. I don't think WRC is programmed as well as ACC though. WRC has been was rushed out and then 
For sure EA will have like cycled stuff around and everything. You know. EA's like it's just a a factory. Buy buy intellectual property. Main people that worked on that original intellectual property leave the studio because EA is not a nice work environment. Middle management basically have random people that just tell people what to do, and then they then they pay staff as little as possible, so they so the staff will cycle through the project. It's pretty much standard large developer stuff. Like this one, it's why um, the Forza. Like the, like the Forza stuff's completely bollocks, or like all the modern Call of Duty, like all my basically large, <laughs> large game studios where the original team is all left. The, the people making the game don't actually care about the game, and the problem is with games is the people making it have to really care about it, and also should be paid. Like they have to also be paid for the work they're doing fairly. If you're don't really care about it and you're not paid that much it's just, you're doing the work for the sake of getting another job you're not doing the work for the work which is always a recipe for the thing being whatever's been worked on for being being crap More passion, more energy. Charlie the TC on. I 
Okay, let's <laughs> maybe no for the TC. Those are R12. Sucks. I need to get a 45 flat. Bloody hell, what is it with this track? Forty-five-five. <laughs> so Moza R12 with the KS wheel, that means in.
turn the force field back up. Should help feel the grip. There you go. Just need the force feedback to be higher. Yes, no, it's been working fine. Been hammering it. Best socks ever, matey.
This car is so bad, guys. <laughs> so bad. It's just everything is understeer. Everything. Oh, I thought I thought I'd try doing that in fifth. Everything is understeer in this car, and then if you trail brake to turn the nose in, it slows you down. It doesn't turn in enough. You got the throttle. It pushes the front out. <laughs> oh, it's such a terrible car. It's a shopping trolley. You have to wait so long, and if you put even the tiniest bit of throttle on, it just gets it gives you push. Even the brake with the ABS gives you understeer. <laughs> this this car is like it's designed for people that can't drive at all. They don't want any oversteer. Unless you absolutely mash, mash the accelerator. This is the Porsche understeer. Oh, this is this is bad for a road car. <laughs> this is this is just okay, let's go. This is just a terrible car. This car's a crime. Even has like really aggressive shift protection on it, so you can't even use engine braking properly. And then the TC is too aggressive, so if you use the TC, it causes more understeer. <laughs> Doing double apex and then wide corners seems to help. Oh, this car's so bad. Everything about it is terrible. <laughs> Everything about its handling is awful. Jesus Christ. It makes no sense to drive. I 
don't think there's any setup stuff I can do to it either. Oh, it's giving me COVID. That's how bad it is. The thing is, the corners on this track are all at such angles that you can't double apex them <laughs> with, to, to get around the sloppiness of the car. I think it wants me to drive into the corner, understeer.
We're doing all right. Last time we were on this track with the car, it took us eight hours though, so. <laughs> it depends, we could be doing all right or we could be failing miserably, it's hard to tell. Following, welcome. Oh my goodness, if you give it a <laughs> Porsche should be ashamed of this car. If the real car drives like this, bloody hell, what went wrong? The other Porsches are really good in this. So floaty in a shit way. I turned it off. The TC, we could try it with TC again. I tried it, but it was so. The TC just slowed you down so much. Because at least the throttle oversteer is the only thing that's. Uh, it's still in. <laughs> even with the TC on. Oh my goodness. No, there's no brake bias. This is. It's terrible. This car, even with traction control, like it just makes it worse. Everything, <laughs> everything you do with this vehicle makes it worse. It's the Great Britain of cars. This is with TC on. Oh, it's on two. Let's put it on one. This, my kayak has better manoeuvrability than this. Okay, maybe well, let's see if we, what we can give, do with the TC on. Christ. Better with TC off. I know we can do the lap time. I just have to. We just have to drive around the car. <laughs> they should give murderers this car to drive. 
They go, oh, we were going to give you the death penalty, but that's far too humane. Instead, we're giving you the Porsche, whatever it is, 911 Turbo S. Oh, no, please, please shoot me. No, I'm afraid. I'm afraid you need to drive 10 laps in this car. to drive the Nordschleife in a 1960s car than this. <laughs> That's when you know you've messed up. Oh, we'll re restart the session because he's but that might be affecting the track temperature. <sighs> you have to uh, close the sunroof. Oh my goodness, this car. Semi slicks. Not really much you can do with it. Wow, dear. You can open the doors when you go into the braking zones. There's uh, dynamic uh, braking, air braking. Right. The suffering. Oh, there we go. That was a good start. Yeah, well, we tried that. With, with double apex in the corners but the radius of the corners in this track mean it doesn't really work too well because you're still you're still gonna have to turn by the time you go into the corner you can't go out enough oh you have to like trail break super deep into the corner but only like the lightest trail breaking don't make any sense at all like you just tickling the brake <laughs> oh dear a wheelbarrow has better handling than this car And then it has the power in the most annoying place possible. So you put your foot down and you're like, oh, yeah, because I'm already going. No, that's when the power kicks in and the back flies out. <laughs> They've genuinely made every decision with this car is the worst decision. The diff behavior, it gets stuck when you need the diff to be, when you need the car to turn. That's when the diff sticks. It turns it, oh my God, like everything is wrong with this car. <laughs> Maybe Porsche made this as an example of what not, they, or of what to never make. <laughs> they were like, guys, this is, this is the bench. This is fundamentally what we should not be making. Okay, now we know.
Oh, why are you understeering, you stupid car? <laughs> oh my god! The whole car's understeering! It is a Seto Corsa, yes, the best best get driving sim ever made. Or not the best simulation to practice, like uh, even F1, GT mods. I really, it's really good. Oh, the understeer is chronic at low speed. Oh my god. Ah, oh, do I need a 45.5? And I'm doing a 45.6. Christ almighty. <laughs> I hate this car! I'd rather rub, rub onions in my eyes. Because because I went in half a mile an hour too fast, so it understeered ten meters. Oh my god! <laughs>
Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, finally! <laughs> oh my god, what a. I never want to touch that car. I never want to see that again. I never want to see that car again, ever. Ah, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Woo! What an awful car. How did this car get made? Was it like a drunk student or something? Look, you can see it's like, it can't, it's trying to like, you can't even stay on the road. Is it? The only thing good about this car is its paint job. Why would anyone buy this? Oh, I know why they buy it, because because it takes like 10 hours of practice while I was driving around at 3 miles an hour to improve your lap time. Do I really believe it's like this in real life? I think it's possible. Other cars in, in AC are well close to real cars. Oh, it's still better than anything in iRacing. Don't, don't get me wrong. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, it's, this is still better than everything in iRacing. But the car's handling is so, so sluggish. Bloody hell. Yeah, well, what, if it had, if the suspension, this would handle really good. If you got this car and you replaced all the suspension with like with race suspension or like really tight suspension, um, if you open the rear diff so it rolled in more, if you stiffen the rear ARB and the front a bit as well, so that it was just tighter. Like if it was tighter, it'd be fine. It's like just like driving a bouncy castle on a on the channel. An awful car. Oh, that, this Porsche 9, 917K is better. Oh, we're on the Audi Quattro with uh, Highlands Long. That'd be good. Let's have a little update. Uh, it just needs race suspension. Just suspension upgrade. 39.9% completed Tetativo. Get in there. Oh my goodness. When when do we go back to the Nord Schleifer? We've got a bit of a break, a Schleifer break. Oh, we might have we might have been Schleifered out, Nürburgring. We'd like we've done every Nordschleifer, I think. Oh no, no, that'll be all right though. <sighs> it's the road cars that do me in. Oh, we might be all right here. We might have, we might be at the end of like super super difficult challenges. That might be the last one. Ah oh, dear, I think this might be quite hard. Some of these, like, so, uh, let's have a look. So, what was it? This took, like, um, where is it? This one took, like, two hours. This one took, like, an hour. That was... I remember that one. Uh, this took an hour. <laughs> Where is it? Some, some of these took so long to do.
this took that this one took like uh four hours to do it was really good actually but it took four hours <laughs> oh was it this toyota that took eight hours <laughs> took eight hours to do the toyota hot lap <laughs> eight hours oh then then we had the crazy nordschleifer ones uh where was it and this this one wasn't too bad it took like an hour this this poor spider took like four hours this one was like an hour uh this one this one i think took like was it like an, two or three hours an hour christ what was the other Nordschleife one we got stuck off? Oh, this one, this push. <laughs> this took ages as well. Oh, the... <laughs> oh, wow. Hello, Euclid. Right. Two minutes, 31. This is going to be hard. Off to Scotland. I mean, it's a nice looking car. I need to set up for this. Ah, uh, what's going on with these? We did it, didn't we? We did that other one before 8 a.m. What's this one? Gold. We'll do a new one. Gold before 10. 10 30. There you go, new prediction. Yeah, the new AC comes out when I complete, when I finish this. They, uh, Kunos. Is that Aris on the side of that building? <laughs> it is. Why? Why is... Why? Oh, car's broken. Why is Aris on the side of that building? <laughs> Look. <laughs> on the right. He's, come, he's gone to Scotland and graffiti. Typical Aris. All right. Bloody hell. We're already, we're already at max faster. sensible track this oh yeah reminder guys if you uh, donate five in, in in your currency you can sponsor this challenge and get your name on the sponsor list if you want to support us you can become a member on YouTube or Twitch and uh, you can just watch and click the like button Thank you. That's. Uh, oh, we also have Amazon affiliate links. If you enjoy our streams and you like us to keep doing this stupid shit, then uh, really appreciate it. And thanks to everyone that's already a member. Uh, the government's been informed. This 
car thinks it's an aeroplane. Audi Quattro. I think the road's mocking me, it's calling me slow. Not wrong though. What time did we need to get, guys? I can't even remember. One thick. Oh, shut up, is it one thick? Two thirty six. Two thirty one. <laughs> It's always 136 with you. We just need the handbrake. We could just throw it around these corners. This saddle's not very good to tweak it so we get more oversteer. Ow. Textbook. This saddle's rubbish. More just the back needs to stay out on the slide. I think they've got the suspension too soft. Oh, this is better, I think. 
want to be able to hold the power down and then hold the drift around the corner. It's still a bit understeering, but... What? Why is it turning left? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Why did it turn left? Okay. <laughs> I'm turning right, and the back's coming out, and the car's coming the other way. Yeah, totally safe. I like the car to do the complete opposite to what you expect. Maybe it's an Australian car. Must have been like the Canberra or something on the road. Maybe. Probably one one wheel probably locked when I was braking. Somebody pulled the car. This is how people drive in Scotland. We could do a bit longer gearing. Oh no! Caught it. <laughs> well, we need it to turn in more. Maybe, maybe, maybe we need a handbrake to have it set up. Hard challenge. Easy. What was the time again, guys? It's marked me a while on this track. Surely it would have made more sense to do like a 1960s, like a vintage car on this track rather than this car. Who knows are a little bit crazy.
Now, Kunos put this in when Kunos did the NVIDIA GTX partnership. They put this in the game. As, an M as a GeForce promotion. Wrong, so that's good. To start. Uh, I'll show those the settings at some point. Like eighty percent power, and then I just filter some of the high frequency stuff out. Hello, Capsule. We're doing all right, yeah. It's been pretty good. Smashing through the hot laps. <laughs> Favourite, shamefully disappointing. I need some non-alcoholic Guinness, though. <laughs> Textbook PGR skills coming into play here. Don't worry about that. They built cars well these in the past. It's a pretty standard way of slowing a vehicle down. It was either that or spectators. Both work quite well. We did it! Yes! And we didn't cheat at all. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Well, we'd have done it without driving into the wall anyway. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I didn't see anything. Right. Uh, now we now we got to go to uh, Highlands Long with the McLaren MP4. Oh yes, that's uh, that's also a, a yes on the poll. Let me do a new poll here for the next one. Go before ten thirty. We get a new poll. Right here we go. Highlands long in, in uh, three minutes fifty seven. Oh shit! Three minutes fifty seven. Oh dear, I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't have a setup, it's another road car. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, it's, 
This is nice on these roads. Oh, look at these hills! Beautiful. Might need to brake a bit sooner. <laughs> and that'll be a million pounds gone. Car's very active. It feels like I'm playing the Need for Speed Hot Pursuit or something, or Need for Speed 2. Nice to slide this car. Take off. It's alright, I'm not Mark Webber, we're, we're fine. Yeah, this is, if you just had tracks like this and cars like this, you basically that's the original Need for Speed. You have some cars on the road. Good game. Have a bunch of races. <laughs> Done. Need for Speed. Well, good. What was the time we need to get? And the AC shines with everything. Oh, I've done it again. So I missed them all that time. Oh, 357. That's alright. We haven't. If our first lap's that. Oh, bonk. Oh. Oh, come on! Why did the arm code throw me off the <laughs> Oh, I'd like a picnic here, that'd be nice. Right, we got this.
it's nice. This is, this is your standard countryside drive. Nice line. Why not drift it? <laughs> Why not? Tires are free. Might as well use them up. Might not be the fastest way, but it's the best way. Oh, that ambulance! That'll reach us in time. Straight. Straight and bumpy. <laughs> motion rig. Cheap motion rig. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I got, I got. Whoa! <laughs> uh, saved myself a few thousand pounds by doing that. Very pleasant track to drive this. We need more. We need more stuff like this in games. I know there's a like high force. There's a, there's a couple of mod tracks like this, facey. But with it's not more common in realistic games. Might be an okay lap Tom. Oh, we still need to get gold. What was that? Do we need a fifty six? Do we need a 56 or a 57? Ah, that's alright, that's good. We'll aim for a 57 then. Nice! the line. <laughs> Is that not faster? It feels better. If it feels better, it, sh it should be faster. I drive all my cars like they're rental cars.
You ready? You ready? Game of muscle motion rig time. Almost crashed. <laughs> Motion rigs are intense, guys. You'll be getting, uh, well, in my case, I'll be getting slapped in the face, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Every jump I've been being slapped in the face. Ah! Oh, nailed it. <laughs> PGR skills. PGR skills. Fine. Don't worry about that, guys. No, I was messing around too much. We lost time. God damn it. Recovered it. Get in there. <sighs> nice. Nicely done. Nicely done. Just recovered, saved it at the end there. Easy, easy. Should have a progress update. Forty point nine percent completed tetativo. Beautiful. He's unstoppable. Unstoppable. What we got now? Mazda 787B at Spa, yes. 2 minute 14. We've already done Nords like a billion times. <sighs> nice car this. I'd have one of these. Daily driver, this. Do you think we can do this first time? Good downforce.
little bit loose, a little bit loose. That's just, I was just warming the tyres up, guys. That's how you do it. It's textbook tyre warming. Really, really, pretty standard driving that. Pretty standard thing to do. See it all the time. What time did we have to get? What time did we need guys? I can't remember. Ah, we should be able to do it. Send. <laughs> Hello, Winter, because we're always live. We've got challenges to do, you know. comes the gold golden There 
it is. Beautiful. What a what a filthy uh, filthy lap. Neils, maybe it is you to protect me, but your stream is the only one that keeps buffering. Oh, it's probably the adverts on YouTube. Shouldn't be buffering. It's it's, uh, it's on Twitch. I see. Do you have ad block or something? <sighs> YouTube. I did lower the bit rate. Let's lower the bit rate a bit more. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's because I drive so fast. <laughs> no, I don't know what's going on. It's random. I've just loaded the bit right. Stream else fine as far as YouTube's concerned. Might be it might just be YouTube being weird. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it works. Yeah, I think it's getting all the data. Not getting any, not any drops. Oh, thanks for following. Welcome. Yeah, it's random. I could probably do with. I need to reset my stream PC. Sadly, it keeps coming for. Yeah, maybe it's YouTube ingest servers. I could always run less. Uh, so, I, like, I could run. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers probably do this is run like low latency rather than ultra low latency but the problem is if you stream for like more than six hours which obviously most people don't because they're actually not stupid but if you the longer you stream the longer the delay gets and if I did like a 16 hour live stream again the delay would be like two three minutes it, it ends up being like 10 second delay every hour oh, I because maybe it's just because you're in uh, Holland <laughs> anyone anyone near Holland, Belgium, that part of Germany? The internet the, the signal has to go through like really thin pipes. That's how it works. There's loads of Dutch people stealing the uh, in stealing the internet. You can't trust the Dutch. They're always stealing the internet. They're taking they're taking the internet out of the pipe. <laughs> Don't know what they do with it. They take they get the internet they take the internet out of the pipe and they smoke it. Typical Dutch behaviour. Ah uh, well, they've been they they people the Brits have been smoking the internet as well. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know what um the only other thing I can do is like I could re restart YouTube and I'm gonna have to remake a whole th I have to redo the thumbnail redo all the settings. So you're trying to give me work to do? I don't do work. That's why I do live streaming. <laughs> Ah, uh, wheel looks nice in that light. Can do with a bit of a wipe though. Do you like the little mini game of muscle, guys? You can get one from Sim Stars. And get a little mini game of muscle, or a mini Jardier. Eh? Check that out. Look. That's how I drive so quick. So I've got myself and Jardier. It's a bit egotistical having a miniature version of yourself in front of you. <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit weird, really. If you think about it, not many people have a miniature version of themselves looking back at them. I've put Jardier next to me to offset it, but uh, yeah, I mean, to remind me to always drink tea. So you might as well, but yeah, that's oh, you can get them from Sim Stars. The guy that does them is sort of like an artisan boutique thing. It's not like a mass production jobby, so it's quite expensive. But the guy, the guy designed it for us, and uh, they're three D printed and hand painted. So uh, yeah, there you go. Sim Stars, check it out, guys. I've got to move my camera now. It's all your fault for, for making me show stuff off. 
Come on, AccuForce wheel. Sim experience AccuForce wheel. <laughs> Chilling out, doing nothing, because it's that good. Yeah. Well, you know, these were actually, they were painted uh, the, a, a, a woman puts a paintbrush, sellotapes it to a to a bosom, and that's how they're painted. That's why it takes so long. Bosom painted. Bazumba. Bazunga. Bazinga. Woo! I mean, we're well, not, not that many away from... Uh... Brands actually in D. Here we go. Oh, this car's awesome. Lotus 311. Really good. It's a really good car in uh, AC. Man, my, my throat hurts from talking too much. Did you guys know that uh, the human body doesn't enjoy talking for 16 hours straight, followed by... Eight hours straight. I only feel like I've just started streaming. This is what's weird. If you live stream a lot, um, you get used to it. <laughs> Most people would stream for five hours and they'd be like, "Ah, oh, no, ah, oh, five hour special long stream." For me, eight hours. I'm like, "Ah, oh, feel like I've just started." <laughs> what is wrong? I've like become uh, I've I've developed endurance live stream skills. The most useless skills. What's that gonna be useful for? Like nothing. Nobody. Absolutely I mean, who the, the world does not need someone to talk bollocks for sixteen hours a day. Oh well. Maybe there's like aliens and they can't stand the sound of uh British accent and they have to keep talking to stop them to hold them back. Well, you don't have to pick your nose. Maybe there's there's might be people out there who love watching people pick their nose, and then you could be like, you could call your channel "Nose Picker Live." People love it. I don't know how much these cars are. Oh, hang on. I've never seen one on the track either. How much is a Lotus Two Eleven? I think it is. At uh, three, three eleven, three eleven. Lotus three eleven, eighty two thousand pounds. Limited production sports car. When were they last made? I rather you might as well get a radical. You buy a radical for thirty five thousand. A brand new one. You can buy a brand new radical SR three for like seventy eighty. Twenty eighteen is when these were made. Uh. Oh, the last time they made. Yeah, seventy to a hundred thousand pounds. You might as well get a radical. It's a much better car. Yeah, thirty to seventy thousand. Okay. Hello, Plasticum. Oh yeah, as a reminder guys, uh, if you enjoy the stream, click the like button. We're on 152 likes, which is awesome. Um, you can become a member for free on, on Twitch by linking your Prime and joining. Uh, if you want to support us, you can become a member on our Patreon, YouTube or Twitch. Um, and uh, if you want to sponsor this challenge and have your name on the screen for the length of this challenge, any any donation above five of whatever your currency is and you put, we'll put your name on the list and uh, it's kind of like a graveyard for people that have wasted money <laughs> okay it could be anything it doesn't have to be your name you could just whatever could go on there as long as it's not uh, too offensive um, yeah there you go that's great I really sold the advertising there I'm good at this um, yeah Thanks for watching, everyone, as well, and suffering adverts. Appreciate it. I, well, I think Radical might be a bit offended by you describing their cars as a chassis with an engine. 
uh, you should say that to the guy that designed the SR3. Just go up to his face and go, ah, oh, that car's basically just a chassis with an engine. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, an engineer spent, like, five to ten years designing stuff, working out all the components and what the most cost-effective, what, you know, what, what all the compromises, and then made sure that it handles in a refined way and everything, and that it can all be manufactured with what they've got available to manufacture, all the thought that's gone into it, and then you just go, basically, basically an engine on a chassis. <laughs> He's probably that that mate, you made him made all engineers cry. So I make I make game developers cry, so it's fine. Alright. Let's go. Do we have a gold setup already? There we go, gold fixed. Right, let's try this. This is a nice car though, last time I drove it. It handles really nicely. It's a little bit floaty. It doesn't have that much downforce, but it has really uh, easy to balance. Handling. Kind of a bit like the Porsche Cop 2017 car, but... Lighter. Less top-heavy. stable as well. Well, we're very consistent. <laughs> we do exactly the same lap twice in a row. done it helps when you know the car and the track well <laughs> it makes it a lot easier uh imola in the mclaren 570s this should be good 154.5 154.5 all lotuses in ac are understeer oh, you and your understeer like a like a glove like an 80s glove compartment. Oh, no setup here. Hmm. Not much we can do in it anyway. 154.5. 
Might have been a bit optimistic on the brakes. <laughs> That's what you get going from race car to road car. Bicycle brakes on this.
be a bit smoother. too hard to do this one, just to link things up. Hello Anderson Charlemagne, he's alright today, yeah. Uh, welcome along.
like the wrist support. Everyone needs wrist support. Time we needed 155 or by doing all the single player challenges and career mode and everything.
Hang on, I've got to do a 54.5 or 54 flat. driven in a very pokey way. LV, I, I, yeah, you don't know what you're talking about, so.
if you I've been in real race cars a AMS 1 and AC are miles ahead of iRacing like the, the only way you would think iRacing <laughs> is, is vaguely I realistic don't, I don't like ACC but I do like the normal AC that's amazing it's probably one of the probably one of the well, one of the or not the best simulation to practice like uh, even F1 GT mods they're really it's really good I mean, like, I, you've either, you've probably, if you think AC doesn't feel right, it's probably because you've set your wheel up wrong, to be honest. Given the number of real drivers I know that will only use AC, <laughs> you know, it's weird that Max Verstappen would like it as well. Surprising that, you know. I think just a lot of sim racers get surprised by, if anything, real cars are easier to drive than AC, but people just don't know, so. It's also Michael Schumacher's and I air to the centers, yeah. can talk about it if you want but When a sim doesn't support counter steering properly, then you're probably really, you know, it's a bit of an issue. The irony is, a lot, a lot of i racers don't notice it. They can't tell. They're like, oh, "I'm counter steering." It's like, oh, okay, That's, yeah, you turn the wheel left and right, but you're not holding combined slip. So, but you know, whatever. Oh, well, I'm bored of it, but I've, you know, I I know it's just one of those things that people that either someone either someone understands it or they don't. It's like the force feedback stuff. So precise to get the laptop in. I've literally been on a, a a racetrack in a in sports cars. It's exactly the same as AC. It's 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 really really similar. The grip levels, everything is really really similar. So yeah, what do you race? If you think AC is slippy, it's probably because you've got your force feedback set up some weird way. The, the complaint about AC is normally that it's, it's too grippy. But... Yeah, the curbs are weird. <laughs> AC is slippy if you go over the limit. Stay under the limit, it's fine. 
but you can also hold the car at the limit. But you know, I, I just I know multiple very good race drivers in real life that drive uh, high downforce cars. So I think I'll go with what they say as well. Also, I have used some uh, custom simulators and they basically drove the same as AC. So you look at the best cars in, in, R, in R Factor 2 and the best custom cars that are made for other sims, they drive like cars in AC. They drive in a similar way to real cars. That's, that's what real cars are like. So... Yeah, you're. So the thing is, you're conflating the sensation of grip with the realism. So, first of all, all sims are going to feel somewhat slippier than reality, regardless. Secondly, if you're not racing with a decent force feedback wheel, it will kind of feel slippy, regardless. Thirdly, it's irrelevant. Real world tracks can be quite slippy and they can be quite grippy, it depends on the tyres and stuff as well that's a separate aspect to the general handling dynamics so it's just a weird thing to obsess over also i racing i'd say it's got more initial grip than than ac but as soon as you start sliding it goes to shit and it's way slippier race room's more slippy than ac ams1 is kind of like say in some ways a little bit more sort of peaky and pokey but ms1 has some big physics holes that are still that were our factor one physics issues so but ms1 and ac are both absolutely fantastic and as are some mod cars for our factor two but the i race is just not in the conversation <laughs> i race is great for online competitive racing and finding people but physics like it's a joke it's an absolute joke no one would use i racing for like literal physics but you know yeah, deal with it go slightly over oh we could do yeah Oh yeah, the tyres are wearing out as well. Okay. Um, yeah, but the thing is, in perfect conditions, real cars feel more arcadey than any driving sim. <laughs> like, like any car I've been in in real life feels they're more forgiving than any driving simulator. Cut slicks, slicks, road tyres, the amount of feel and warning you get through your body the the thing in real life is though the track is really variable and you have less time so you can't like practice to get you know you can't just keep doing stuff and if you crash it's going to hurt or cost a lot so it has to be easier in many ways like rental go-karting if rental go-karting was like how any driving sim is ams1 ams2 r factor one kart craft whatever if rental go-karts or ac were like how they are even in the best sims it would be illegal <laughs> it would like it would be illegal to do it like can you imagine like if if 
And then imagine, like, Rotex uh, X30s or something in real life if they were like what they are in Sims. Kids would just be dying every weekend. You wouldn't put, like, a... Imagine if real cars were like how they are in iRacing or even even in, like, general Sims. You put, like, they put 12-year-olds in Janetta's. Oh, yeah, we're going to put... We'll put kids in something that can quite likely kill them if it just drives into a wall crazy. You just wouldn't. There's not, you, they put, like... Uh, they have, like, teenagers in F4 cars. Like, if they were as stupidly dangerous as they are in Sims, where you have to memorise it, what you can and can't do. <laughs> it's like... Just by that... Do, using that reasoning, you could be like, oh, yeah, hang on a minute. Yeah, maybe maybe Sims are a bit unforgiving in certain ways. Maybe due to a lack of feel, maybe due to physics, maybe due to a whole host of things. Well, they're, they're weird in iRacing. They're easy in... So, the again, AC's Tatus F4 car is absolutely superb. So is R-Factor, R-Factor 2s. Um, the Tatus in, R, in AC is um it's the older spec f4 though it's not the new it's not like the spec from like the last four or five years um but the the i racing ones with i think the, the thing with i racing is you don't drive it like you drive it right even if you like i racing and you think it's great fantastic why is it the ams1 ac R Factor Two, Race Room, Live for Speed. <laughs> why do they all? Why do all those simulators use the same fundamental approach, but the grip's different, and there's some what stuff going on or whatever? But they're the same. They use the same thing basically. Like the grip's different. You might get on the accelerator sooner or later, you know. But in i racing. You have to drive it completely different, like totally different to every other sim. It's like, oh yeah, really robotic, break, break in, a, in like a super, super crazy smooth, go slightly over the limit and you're going skidding for ages. <laughs> Don't try and counter steer if you're over, you can't overdrive in, like you can overdrive in iRacing in the context of iRacing. But in the context of, like, normal overdriving, it's just not supported in iRacing. Like, you, in real life, you can, like, it's like a Radical SR3, for example, you can outright drift it around a track. Like, full on, you could go off-road and can't catch slides with it insanely. Like, on the throttle, you could just beef the throttle and be counter-steering like a moron. You're not going to want to do it because it's pointless. But that's what you can do in it. That's a radical, right? You can do that in in uh, in many cars, on slicks. But you don't do it because it's pointless. But you can do it. Like you can do really crazy stuff if you counter steer quickly. The tires are up to temperature. You know, you, know, you can drive okay. But um, you know, oh. <laughs> Uh, John Rambo, I've driven many cars and carts. Let me tell you this, AC is the closest you will get. Try some paid mods from VRC. You don't even need paid mods, right? Um, right. The... Um, right, the Ford Escort, absolutely superb in, in, in AC. Incredible. Uh... The Lotus uh, 211 that we were just driving, absolutely incredible. Um, the Por uh, Porsche Cup 2017, absolutely incredible. Porsche RSR, absolutely incredible. Not that hybrid, but the other one. Um, what else? Like, they're better than any other car in any other simulator. That's how good they are. That's how good they are. I mean, it, it, AMS2 has some absolutely fantastic cars. The MCR, well, most of the stuff in AMS, uh, sorry, in AMS1, most of the stuff in AMS1 is really quite good. It, like, basically, you just drive, and then if the car oversteers, you can't steer. That is how real, like, no real car that's, like, not, like, if a car is set up somewhat neutrally, 
no real car is set up to like be if you're someone with like thousands of hours of sim experience no real car should be like crazy like you should oversteer once maybe spin once maybe understeer once or twice and then you're like oh that's what that that's what the grip feel that's the rotation amount of this vehicle that's what it can support like exactly like if you ride a bicycle in real life once you've learned how to ride a bike you can ride a road bike a mountain bike whatever and you you'll be like oh yeah okay <laughs> it's like once you have those fundamental skills it's like there Yeah, you, know, you have i racing have at least the turning of the rear which AC doesn't. So it's because you're going too fast into the corners, Palookan. So you're just going to you're just overdriving. Is, it, is that so your your force feedback is is A your force feedback setup wrong and B you're going too hot into the corners. Done. No, it's, it's it's literally to do with you going to. This is a complaint that people have of AC. They go, "Oh, it's understeery." It's like you're going too fast into the corner. Go on i racing. If you go too fast into the corner, the, the car won't turn at all either. Like you just. <laughs> the the uh, the cars do roll more immediately on the on, so on the brakes in i racing. If you're under the limit. Um, the, the the cars do respond more more nimbly to the brake, if that's what you mean. But like a real car doesn't necessarily. So, so it depends on the setup of the car. Some real cars turn in like stu stupidly. Some don't. It's going to depend on like, like obviously the car and settings and everything. What what do you mean, Palookan? Go. Well, no, but you don't. You drive, so it, that's irrelevant. You drive a sim or a real car based not based off the speed and how much steering angle. What you do is you get in a car and you go, hmm, at what point does it understeer? Like, so it's like when you go skiing, the snow's going to be different temperatures and different thicknesses. And then when you go skiing, you don't assume that the, ski, that the skis are going to grip in exactly the same way every single day. You do a few turns and then you're like, oh, the skis are really biting the snow today or oh no this the snow's a lot colder so it's uh requiring me to turn more aggressively or put more weight on one foot or whatever so it, it doesn't matter as long as the process in a simulator also the mx5 in in i racing it 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 doesn't support like natural driving at all like it's um under the limit it's sort of either mental hooked up which is quite satisfying uh, it's even better on the cold tires actually because the cold tires it rotates better it's, so it's either like ridiculously hooked up but as soon as you start sliding in that mx5 it's completely uh, like unhinged and it's like it's just rotating in the center it's like mental uh, whereas a real MX-5 will be super planted. Like, you, you'll be able to, like, slide it, move it around. But it, it'll be, like, rubber on a road surface. <laughs> no, the f uh, force feedback. This is the point. This is one of the problems. This is another thing that I race. I'm not saying this is you. But a lot of I racers will say... Uh, I don't like AC's force feedback because it's too overactive or it's too much information. And it's like, they don't understand the point of force feedback. The point is, in AC and AMS1, the force feedback tells you exactly where the grip is so you know how fast you can go into the corners. <laughs> this is why it drives me mental. Because it's like, every I, I, I have not met a single person that understands the value of being able to feel the physics of the car and the force feedback that then dislikes AMS1 and AC. All the people that are like, oh, yeah, I racing or, oh, this other sim, whatever, they are people that might as well not be using force feedback. Like, it, it's there. They're like, they still benefit from it, but it's like, it's not the 
crux of what they're doing. They're not balancing a car. They're get, they're driving a remote controlled car that happens to have self aligning and some some forcing back details. But like, so for example, going through all these cars in AC, it's been really fun. There's cars in here that I hate to drive. Like I don't like slow road cars. But what's been really fun is as I'm doing the hot laps, I can feel in the force feedback where the grip is for the specific car for me to, to for me to then feel without someone having to tell me or without me having to uh, like test it with no information. But I can feel um, what to, to do different things. So with some of the cars, I'll be like, oh, I need to I need to trail break way deeper into the corner or I need to. I need to turn the car in sharper or throw it in or I need to do this or like you know like it's all being communicated exactly what I need to do and then I and you have a range of communication of what you need to do whereas when you play i racing it's just you look at the delta and you drive in a really methodical guitar hero trial and, just trial and error but it's binary trial and error it's not it's not like oh there's a little bit of range I'm sort of I'm slowly moving towards the right thing it's like it's purely binary right like i don't understand why this is i say ams one's fine as well race room's actually fine it's too i i don't like how slidey race room is it's not bitey enough it's, it's a bit slow motiony but i don't see how, I, I really don't get it's really bizarre to me how someone can... I, I can see how someone can still enjoy iRacing and how it drives, right? But I don't see why someone can't identify how it's fundamentally different. Like, I can tell you the fundamental differences between Race Room, R Factor 2, AC, iRacing, all of them. Like, I can tell you exactly the differences. I don't think these people can. They're just like, oh, I really, I really like iRacing, but it's a little bit unforgiving at the limit. <laughs> it's like it's not that simple yeah i know we're just having a conversation it's fine uh ben s what what pissed you off was with jeremy clarkson yeah, Jeremy Clarkson is not a good driver i think weirdly i think james may was actually okay at driving weirdly that was always weird with Top Gear. Although, saying that, I think Jeremy Clarkson was better than Hammer. I don't know. Um, Chris Harris is a very good driver. Yeah, well, Ray, well it's not. Race Room is not exactly like Race 7, but yeah, it's quite similar. They did, they've done some quite substantial force feedback changes and they have done some quite substantial physics changes to race room, especially over the last two years. But after the initial wow effect, you just notice the skiddish nature. If you are skidding, you are overdriving. You're, you're meant to be balancing. I, it, I genuinely think you've just set your force feedback up wrong because the crux of AC is that you can feel where the limit is to avoid skidding around like that. I think that's just, you're just overdriving massively. You, your, your wheel set up shit, that's all. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. What wheel have you got? You, you've just got your wheel set up shit. There's no... Why would it be that, <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I can't help you? It's just, it's just a bit coincidental that all the people I know in real life that are really good drivers, like they could drive, they, they drive like Formula cars and stuff, not just road cars uh, or race like you know, like the Toyota Sleeker drove. They, they drive like Formula cars. It's weird that they would all gravitate towards AC R Factor Two. And the, the older ones played AMS 1 and they're like, oh yeah. But well, hang on, you're talking at a slow pace, not racing. Well, what's, it, what's the point? Who cares? Because you're never driving at a slow pace in a racing game. It's irrelevant. 
Oh no, under under forty miles an hour, um, a speed at which you're never driving in a racing game. Ah, uh, you know. You know, really thought of Dudley Zoo. They would just have concrete animals in there. Ah, oh dear. Sim racing, guys. Yeah, but Palookan, even if... I don't even know what if what you're saying is true. Even if it was, it would be irrelevant. Because you're not driving... You're going to be... Even exiting a pit lane onto a track, you're going to be going over 50 kilometers per hour. Like, the minimum speed that you're driving on a racetrack is typically over 60 miles an hour. Like, when when do you leave a pit lane? It's going to be like, what's pit lane speed limit in uh, for like... Sixty kilometers per hour. So what's that in miles per hour? F Forty. So by the t by the time you leave the pit lane, you're going to be at like eighty. So the only time it's relevant is when you're driving in a straight line in the pit lane. <laughs> so who cares? Uh, Benoit, you get this mental picture of you arguing to submission with these pro drivers. Well, the thing is, I don't, I don't have, to, I don't argue with them. It's normally me going, oh, I think this is actually. They're normally in favour of like KC and stuff, and I'm like, ah, oh, they, they normally are saying it's better than I think it is. That's what's funny. <laughs> the, the irony is. They're normally less less critical than what I am. So, uh, you know. Yeah, skiddish. It's a, it's a, you made a really good uh, job of that. Hello, Simply Davil. Hey, Sega Rally is top notch. I play. I've played that some like a few years ago. Sega Rally actually, the cars, even though it's clearly like made up numbers and stuff, but the actual uh, force feedback and the driving, the general driving process in Sega Rally, it's a little bit baked and like it's sort of springy. It's got, it actually has quite a, um, you know, the uh, race driver grid games that sort of uh, springy. St overly stable um, grip like return to grip sort of stuff but actually that's kind of how cars are like in many ways it's Sega Rally the first Sega Rally is genuinely really quite uh, quite good surprisingly surprisingly good and the force feedback and it's not terrible either but most because it's from the 90s most of the um, I think it's a hap chain driven force feedback wheel and most of them are absolutely knackered now. You, you're going to track down... Well, um... Tell him to contact all the other... Well, you can speak to Stefano if you want. He live streams every now and again. I've got him on Steam. We could we could message him. <laughs> I don't know if he's online. Let's have a look. Uh, nah, he's not online. Yeah, he's doing a boat simulator. He got bored of cars. 
I went on the uh, Peter's. Yeah, I saw the thing about the graphic stuff. That'd be awesome to try. Uh, Stefano Costello, isn't it? Is his full name? But yeah, he normally Kunos is what his online username that he was using. Obviously, when they so when Kunos started, there was like five of them, like the um, what, three or four of them that were doing Netcar Pro, I think. And uh, Stefano did most. Well, we did the game engine, the physics, and everything. Marco was managing it, I think, and doing uh, licensing and everything. They, I can't fight. There was a video of the Kunos guys years ago, like 2007, where they were doing like um, they were sat, they were playing uh, netcar, and then one they were sat in an office chair, and then they were doing like motion simulation by moving the chair around. It was a ridiculous video. I think it got removed off the internet, but I remember seeing it. I should, I should have downloaded it. <laughs> I think they don't want people to see it. That's why they got rid of it. It's pretty funny. Yeah, it's understeery and skiddish. <laughs> don't even know what skiddish means. Like, yeah, I, I don't know. No. <laughs> I, I'm, in my view, and this is... The real drivers I know that are very talented real world race drivers don't share this opinion but in my view I think the, re the the cars in AC at times are too slow to like pop out and then react to your counter steer so like and this is a common physics issue like this is what you get in flight sims and uh, like stuff is not quick enough to, to happen if that makes sense i think ac should be faster in that regard um and the other thing was um i can't remember what it is well, i mean obviously the curbing there, there's some stuff but the, but real drivers disagree with me so <laughs> that's what i say the, the the irony is right is obviously when we talk about iRacing online iRacers go mental like oh, what are you talking about oh. the irony is when i'm talking to real drivers that are really good real world drivers and they are like they're like ah oh, ac so good or this car in half into two or whatever like <laughs> and i'm like ah oh, maybe you know isn't this actually a bit wrong and they're like no no it's amazing and then, then they're like well, what about what do you think about iRacing they're like fuck shit mate it's terrible <laughs> they're like they don't even it's not even it's not even included. There are some drivers I talk to that do play a lot of iRacing. They, they really like it. They're like, oh, it's pretty close. Quite like it, whatever. But it's a, like it's an absolute definitive cutoff. Whereas with, with ACR Factor 2 and real-world drivers, they're like, oh, I kind of prefer this, kind of prefer that. But it's not a case of... I, I've never heard a real-world driver say, yeah, I never touch R Factor 2. I, n I never play AC at all. But with iRacing you get it where they're like yeah i just wouldn't touch it so you know i <laughs> i think this, what i my suspicion is with i racing in particular if you have the driving style of where you gradually build up speed and you your driving style is to lean into the understeer and lean into the oversteer which is a very fast way to drive perfectly legitimate way to drive there's nothing really wrong with it and you or you have a very passive style of driving like you you like that you know you really drive from the pedals and it's very very passive and you don't like to really test the limit and you don't like to alternate between the pedals and the steering wheel uh, as a fundamental way of driving you like to always drive in one very singular way if you happen to line up with that, I think you could quite easily play iRacing and not notice how messed up it is. You just go, oh, yeah, I went over the limit and it's a bit unforgiving at the limit. I think that is what is happening. Which, and I think that's why those people can't tell. They don't notice particularly because I think they also, they approach AC like that. They approach R Factor 2 like that. They approach all the Sims in, this, in that same way. So, from their perspective, you know, they, cause it, that, it's, they, it's all the same thing. That, I, that would ex That's the only logical explanation I can come to as to why someone wouldn't really notice that it's really fundamentally different. 
With someone like me, who's not a very good driver, I alternate between a whole bunch of doing random shit and trying different things out. And I like to overdrive and then dial it back down because I'm I'm not like I don't have very good memory, so I like to like and drive by what the wheel's telling you the feel of it if i was in a real car i'd be driving by the seat of the pants feel very specifically that's like that's how i ride my mountain bike it's how i do it's how i ski it's how i like do any sport is like going by what i can currently feel in that moment if that makes sense rather than i'm really bad at like learning and memorizing specific things But yeah, I, I, I think anybody that's good at any of the sims, like people, if someone's pretty decent at um, race room, iRacing, AC, track mania, whatever, like if someone is, for example, anyone that would basically be in the top split in iRacing uh, or like any, anybody that could do all the stuff, like all the stuff we're doing in AC now, the hot lap challenges or drifting in AC or anyone that could be in like the top 200 in race room leaderboards. Any of those people would be a, such a high level of real world driving compared to like most people that do real world driving. I mean, they wouldn't be like the sort of level you get from people that do go-karting from the age of eight, obviously, but like you, people really don't realize how absolutely shit most people are at driving. Even people that do a lot of driving and, and every track day I've been to, keep in mind, like obviously people doing track days for fun, they don't need to race fast or drive fast. It's for fun. They just it's whatever. I'm not I'm not saying they need to be good, but every track day I've gone to, out of let's say thirty or forty cars, there's like two people there that are demonstrating basic handling of their vehicle, and these are people that bought like Ferraris, Lotuses. McLarens, whatever. <laughs> there will literally be like two people that can drive. Uh, Shumi, it's true. The gold dot lap challenges. Well, yeah, right. So, um, the bloody Nordschleifer stuff, the, the skills to be able to get the gold challenge, you have to be trail breaking proficiently. You have to understand apexing proficiently. You have to understand loading the car up into the corner proficiently. Um, you have to like understand uh, like like all the gear, maintaining a current gear based on because of the hill and or, or like stuff things that might not be immediately obvious to a lot of uh, sim racers. Like you, you'd have to be able to demonstrate. Like you have to be able to counter steer. Yeah. I mean, especially like the, the Ford Escort. Yeah, that, that old Porsche around Silverstone, that's a really, really good test of um, apexing and then modulating the throttle. So uh, a big skill that a lot of people don't have is that last sort of centimeter of throttle modulation rather than just like really smoothly coming off the brake and then modulating the throttle but going on the throttle but then modulating just where the grip is and then and then not fully lifting but using it enough in that last centimeter yeah i racing right i can't think of a time in i racing where i'm modulating on and off the accelerator and the brake productively like if you're quick in i racing you have reduced it to Brake, lift off the brake, accelerate. <laughs> they, like, I've never, I can't think of a time in iRacing. Even keep in mind, when I've been, when I did Super Formula at Hockenheim Ring with the open setup, we were, we were like at pace with the top five in the top split. So I'm not saying that's very good because it's still, it's just their random online race. It's not alien or anything. But at no to be top five in the top split, which is what most sim racers can't do in i racing, especially in Super Formula, or, or even other cars to, for that matter, um, you are never modulating the throttle that much. It's, it's uh, you, you've reduced it to a, a like a 
oh, well, I know on this corner I just push it at this timing. <laughs> like, it's... I'm sure you could modulate it, but... Yeah. No, I know. I've see, obviously seen the uh, telemetry and the inputs for people, for like top people braking and accelerating in eye racing, but. Uh. That'd be interesting to compare telemetry from the different sims to see what sort of inputs people generally generally put in from from like a me like a high level. A medium level. Oh yeah, yeah. I, d I really don't want to be a programmer. <laughs> what are we on here? Forty-one point nine percent. Right, I'm. I, I need to pop to the shop, but I'm going to leave the stream on because we'll continue. So I want to pit, I want to finish that. Um... I want to finish that other challenge. Uh, my stream time is incorrect. You, you're at eighty-two point eight percent. What the whole game or just hot, hot, hot laps? So right, I'm going to hack your computer so you can't do it. Ah, oh, get out! Such a cheat. Uh, Mad Chief. Uh, I racing does that as well. Right, right. Here's a really good example of iRacing braking, why is it that the brake hack in iRacing is so effective even up to like a high level in like not the like top level but like the the competition the, the sort of lap times in the competition level in the top split in iRacing is pretty decent drivers like they're not aliens they're not that good but they're like pretty decent right um, why is it then that the optimal sort of general strategy for braking in in like the Super Formula Light, for example, is to set the brake hack at 75% so that you can just brake at 100% in a straight line and then lift off and turn in? Like, that should not be optimal at all. Like, like... The, the the mistake from locking up, sh the result from locking up should not be, oh, that's it, I'm probably binning the car entirely and it's game over. <laughs> like, that... So the fact that the mistake from, from locking up is so severe that you might as well put the brake on uh, 74%. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, because on average, you... The, you know, oh sure, if you're really, really good and you're never going to lock up and you, you may, maybe you've got nice low tail pedals and you just memorise the pressures so it's not a problem, fine. But for the vast majority of people, even in the top split playing eye racing, I'd say like in every race, at least three people will crash themselves due to them braking a bit too heavy and them not using brake hack and them locking up and then the car just auto spinning with them unable to catch it. There's probably at least, out of a 30-car grid, three to five cars, every single race crash and crash into people because of that. And there's no... It's not a problem. It's just unforgiving. <laughs> like, oh, dear. Oh, dear. So where's this, where's this post about... Uh, Peter Bowes a curbing fix thing it's on Patreon let's have, a, let's have a read yeah I need to get some non-alcoholic Guinness and some milk uh, oh yeah
yeah, thanks people that have joined us. Uh, I, thanks for clicking the like button. As another reminder for anyone that's joined us, uh, obviously we don't get that many views playing the Seto Corsa because it's so good that people don't play it. Uh, so I really appreciate the support that we get. Subscribers, members, Patreon, all that crap. If you, if you have money to waste. If you don't have money to waste, don't feel pressured. Don't waste money. Just watch the channel. Appreciate that. Uh, we have a sponsor thing for this um, challenge. Uh, you, your name goes on the sponsor list, basically. If you um, if you donate anything, five, five of whatever currency, you get your name. Or you can have whatever you want on there, as long as it's not offensive. Um, and what else? Uh, yeah, I just appreciate everyone watching. It's been really good fun, to be honest, doing this. And uh, I've ruined other people's lives. Because <laughs> loads of people are doing the hot laps. But it's been good fun. The Beppo, that would be insane in real life. I mean, how many lockups are happening in mode sport in wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing all the time? Yeah, exactly. Well, have you seen that video of the car? I think it was an Australian. It, to be fair, it was like a V8 or some, I don't know, some like crazy, they're crazy stable cars. But the guy locks up, three of the wheels are locked up, and he still has steering authority of the car and overtakes another car going up the inside and then instantly just drives it off. Like, that's what tyres are like. Like, you'd have flat spots and locking up isn't normally... Is, well, you're just going to keep going in a straight line. It's not the best way to slow the vehicle down. But as soon as you come off the brake, the tyre wants to keep rolling. It, it doesn't want to stay still on a road. Like, in... A tyre is like a warm, uh, slick tyre, or cut slick, or road tyre even, is sticky. So, if you have a car pushing down on it, weighing a ton or something, on a road surface, as soon as you lift off your brake, that wheel is going to rotate immediately, and the only part that will be super mega heated will be the bit that was still like that locked up with the road surface but as soon as the car as soon as the wheel starts rotating again that's just a little patch on the tire that is then going around so it's only that superheated patch is on the ground like you know it's it's not it's not touching the ground all the time so it would be the equivalent of that being averaged to be like 150th of the grip like if that patch might have like let's just say hypothetically that patch had zero grip because it was overheated and messed the tire up it's just a stupid scenario even if the patch was like that the locked up patch and it was like a hand of contact a whole wheel would be at normal temperature so if it's rotating like this it means that that zero grip bit would only be affecting the car one like it, like there'd be 50 patches worth that could go around it so it just doesn't make any sense <laughs> as soon as you lift a car wheels will rotate oh dear you would have thought in a racing game it would be vital to be able to lock up in a realistic way because that happens all the time. Like, it, it would be on a practice session and in a race, if, if people are really pushing in a race, you would expect someone to lock up at least once in a race. And especially in, like, um, like a radical series or, like, um, lower, you know, like, club racing, which is bulk of eye racing... You would expect people to be a bit shit on the brake pedals. Like with go-karts and stuff, people are going to do... They're not like... They've not developed like a full sense of where the limit is and everything. So you would, it's going to be very, very common. Uh, the challenges are fun. You learn to drift. Yeah. I learned to drift driving the F4 car. Oh dear. Well, Ollie, that's because it's Formula One and those cars are notoriously stable. Oh, hang on, wait a minute. Ooh. 
Right, what was I going to do? I'm going to... I'll leave this on. We're going to go quickly pop to pop to shop and get... Um, I'm going to quickly pop to shop and get uh, some non-alcoholic beer and some milk. Alright. Oh yeah, I was checking Patreon for the... Um, where is it? Peter Bose's post. Oh, thank, thanks for following. Discord administration. Thank you. Welcome. Hello. Uh, fake, fake admin. Where's the, um, where on Patreon do you find places that you're following? Patreon website is so bad. Where's, where's this update? Is it was it to shader patch? So the linear color space thing, or is it uh, Peter Bose? How, why is it part of pure the tire fix how does that work there we go new csp just a short disclaimer uh oh he's saying pure will not have uh, lsc until the next month Pure must be rewritten from the ground up. Oh, he goes. The, the biggest change since the first release of CSP, and it affects all parts of Pure in a very negative way. I'll need a huge amount of time to fix all the new problems. So, actually, CSP without LSCs should be compatible with Pure, but there are changes in CSP which influence it negatively. Ah, oh, he's saying so pure will only be compatible with CSP from 0 0.2 to 0 0.23 for a long time. Ah, oh, disaster. Hello, Orimu. The GT3 R, yeah, yeah, we 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 we're on uh, McLaren now at Imola. So what's going on then? If if the new Pure won't work with new CSP,
I'm not. I don't get why he bothered doing the new um, linear color space stuff. Because it AC looked fine without it. Now, I get the. I get why. It says it looks better, but it's to me it seems like it's stuff that's not really that important. But there we go. Uh, new surface FX. Another big change is to experimental module. It's part of our efforts to bring actual rally races to Assetto Corsa. So it's mostly focused on gravel behavior, but also alters grass and sand as well. Oh. New physics experiment. Another option as lateral rays. While extended physics always already adds a lot more rays per tire, by default those rays are only longitudinal. Adding lateral rays changes behaviour a lot more significantly. Now curbs are a lot safer to drive on, but those lateral rays also cause contact points to shift left and right. So force feedback might noticeably change. And in general, those lateral rays make designing suspension a bit more difficult. Another noticeable change is an experiment replacing surface noise used in some surfaces with purling noise. Hmm. It's a bit random. Do you know what would be the most important shader patch update? Um, would be good version of shader patch built into uh, built into content manager by default uh, with a with a singular ranking thing <laughs> with singular like a like built built right into the main page of content manager a kunos ranked multiplayer that only uses kunos cars with uh, one car and a ranking on it and a ranking page built into content manager that would be good and it would uh, yeah just uh, if you clicked online actually what what content manager should have is when you click online um, the first tab half the screen like the top of the screen here there's a box and the, the the box has um, a ranked race every hour, and it's uh, like a Tatis F4, MX5, or whatever, a good good car. And that's it every hour with splits. Uh, and it's at the top. It's at the top here. Yeah. <laughs> sim sim races one day night rain. Multi-class, obviously. I mean, imagine that. If Content Manager did that, it just had like... Even it just had like three on the... As soon as you click online, it has... It doesn't even show these servers. It just has... Initially, it just has like three things. One of them is MX5, F, Tatis F or whatever. One of them is like a whatever, like a rando fast car. That's a good car, and uh, one of, one of them is a mod car. Uh, the top one is always Kunos content that's in the stock game and the DLCs. The bottom one could be uh, just Kunos cars, but it might have mod tracks on it, and the bottom one could be whatever. Uh, and it's just race every hour with splits, and then oh, and then the fourth box, the fourth box would be like um, uh, a current ranking thing, or in each each box it would show for the thing it would say the top ten people. Uh, 
I know, I know like uh, mods are like like uh, uh, it's good for tracks to be fair having lots of tracks is good but like car mods are the dumbest thing ever it's like why do lots of cars make a sim better a sim that's already got uh, a sim that's already got um, tons of cars in it that are really good. It's like you don't need any car mods. <laughs> like you really in AC, you don't need any mods for like, track mods, sure, and like the graphics mods, great. But you'd really, out of all the sims, ironically, AC did not need any car mods. Really? There's such a weird meme, this whole thing of like, oh, you need uh, you need mods to play AC. The, mo the mods make... The car mods make AC. Like, oh, the mods... Yeah, that's, you know, the mo the car mods are where it uh, fixes the game. It's undrivable. Yeah, but, but I'm talking about... That's what I'm saying is... So, Shader Patch and all those other things are UI mods. They're not... It's not car mods. Right. I'm going to get a non-alcoholic beer, guys. I'll be back in a bit. So, I'll leave with some music. I'll catch you in a bit. Uh, we need, like, a time on the screen. They, they're, they're all the sayings. Yeah, but the, okay, days of blunder. I'm not saying that mods are bad. That there aren't some good mods. There have been some great car mods. But what is the point of having um, these great race car mods? They're race cars. There's no where are you racing them. <laughs> they, there's no one to race against. You join a league. If you're moderately decent, you will have no one to race against because you're too fast. If you're shit, you won't be racing because the time differences will be too much. So what's the point? Oh, I could do some hot lapping in a mod car. Great. I mean, we could do Game of Muscle hosted races. That's that's the only point. You need you need ranked with splits. It's the only way to put everyone in the same to get uh, people to, that are close to your skill level to race against. But right, I'll be back in a bit, guys. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for supporting us. BRB.
Returneth. How's everyone doing? Okay, let's go. Is everyone all right? I just, I would use the Delta that's in the game, the default one. I could just take, put this in the kitchen, get a cup of tea. Call free Guinness, get in there. I have to go all the way to Tesco's for that. They don't sell it at Lidl's. <laughs> Lidl's do not. Lidl's do uh, this. Freedom. Freedom beer. But it's not very good. It's, it's passable, but it's not very good. It's got too much sugar in it. Like, the, uh, the Lidl's one. So this has... Per bottle, per can, it's 60 calories for 300 milliliters. Oh, it's more than that. It's like 70 calories for 330 milliliters. And then this is 75 calories for 440 milliliters. And it tastes nicer. So... I think you need sectioning. Well, fortunately, the British uh, healthcare system has collapsed, so they haven't got any room for me in the mental place anymore. So I can't be. Set. Do you know how hard it is to get uh, sanctioned now? <laughs> like in the UK, you, you basically have to go around throwing acid at people. Uh, 154.5. Get back in there. I oh, know. We need to change the tire setting. Do the toy to sleep. Well, we're giving that in real life. Where's that? Oh, yeah, not this one, though. Not the rally edition. Ah. Oh. It's fine. We'll just go. Uh, why did I start streaming at 2 a.m.? I don't know. Oh, because I woke up at 2. Because we did 16 hour live stream yesterday. I went to bed at 4 p.m. <laughs> and then I woke up at 2. 
That's pretty normal. Oh, hello! <coughs> yeah. Cheers, guys. Guinness in your face. Yeah, nice little walk to Tesco's. Uh, proper dizzy though from from streaming too much. I felt like I was on drugs, but there was birds chirping all over the place because it's warm. It's actually quite nice. I'm probably gonna do some walking soon. So it's actually nice outside. It's not like sunny, but it's quite nice and warm. So there's like birds chirping everywhere, and there's like random noise, <laughs> Burg uh, burglar alarms in the distance. Well, weird. It all like surround sound. It's like, it was like crazy, <laughs> like a, on mushrooms or something. A functional non-alcoholic, exactly. I love Guinness. This non-alcoholic Guinness is well good. I, I prefer tea, but this is my new addiction. This is probably going to make me fat. The only unhealthy thing I have is non-alcoholic Guinness. No, it's only 75 calories per per one of them. So, if I have, if I was, even if I was to have four cans a day, which I don't, that would be 400 calories or 300 calories. So. I probably have like two, two a day, maybe three maximum, probably two. But I, that's it. I don't eat any biscuits, cake, or anything. Everything, everything else I eat is like chicken breast, chicken legs, <laughs> vegetables. Um, yeah. Don't eat chocolate, sweets, or anything. That's it. Yeah, so I probably at the moment I'm probably eating about two thousand calories a day. Sometimes I have some potato. I eat bananas and oranges, and pasta sometimes. Uh, I have some milk. So milk, milk and the Guinness is the only unhealthy things that I have. Right. Oh, I forgot to pick up yogurt. I knew I forgot something. Oh well, get some tomorrow. Well, only the milk I have is just because I have it in tea. All right, let's try and do this. Oh, I've got some pizza. Forgot about that. Uh, no, I just used AC force food, but. Let's try two laps in, then I need to just grab my pizza. Oh yeah, sometimes I buy pizza. <laughs> That's pretty unhealthy. Oh, let me let me grab my pizza. I don't have any snacks. My my go-to snack is an orange. <laughs> like for the last five weeks, I've just I, I, yeah, like uh, a cheapo pizza is like the only unhealthy thing I've been having. So I have like one a week or something. Uh, yeah, I sometimes buy nuts, but I haven't, I haven't bought any. Basically, the diet I'm eating at the moment is just, just not eating processed food. That's it.
Oh. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel like I need biscuits or anything now. After like three weeks of. I burnt my pizza. <laughs> Oh, I like pickles as well. So just raise essentials up. Tea is not processed food. No, tea... Tea isn't processed. It's bloody dried leaves. That's fine. It's processed in the same way a banana is. How do you see? Best, best uh, sim racing game to start with, Assetto Corsa. Best sim racing game to finish with, Assetto Corsa. Most realistic sim, Assetto Corsa. Sim with the most amount of cars, Assetto Corsa. <laughs> sim with the best force feedback, Assetto Corsa. Reading your comments is a process. Well, I don't I don't buy bread <laughs> that's the solution to that don't don't buy bread you don't really need bread like if you're eating like beans and yeah I overcooked my pizza <laughs> um yeah, I'm normally just cooking like chicken and fish and stuff. The only real bread is sourdough. Let's be honest. Why does my OBS keep saying encoding overloaded? I used to like Harry Bow, but I don't really. Right. Thanks for clicking the like button, guys.
first time I saw him, his mouth was full of spaghetti. <laughs> oh, so funny. Right, here we go. Um, you could make bread in air fryer. I don't know why you'd want to. into the flow here. Good potato in there, right? Works quite well. the time we needed for this one. It wasn't 136, was it? <laughs> 136. It was just 136 for everything. It's 154. Jeez, 154, 5, 136. It's always, oh, why is it always 136? It's like a time meme. It doesn't even make any sense. 136. That's the lap time for every track in the world. I've had some non-alcoholic beer, so I'll perform way better now. Good track, this. I always perform better when I've not had uh, when I've had some non-alcoholic beer. I, I, do you know what? I I have blisters on my hands. <laughs> My thumb has a blister, and my feet have blisters from sim racing. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, it's getting warmer. I, I still need to... I've got, I've got fitter. But yeah, we need to get our fitness up a bit more. We'll do some more walking soon. It's nice weather. Uh, the KS wheel with the Moza R12.
Thanks for following. Welcome. Sam Zagrina or something. Hello. Just, just this wheel in the Formula wheel. Slows fast with this car. It really doesn't like you sliding. No, nah, they didn't send me the truck wheel. I, I should ask them for it. I got too much stuff anyway to review. I <laughs> know iRacing is going to feel terrible. But it's fine, I've quit iRacing, so it's fine. Sparco R33 seat. It's all right, but you can get cheaper seats. Just get a car seat from a scrapper and stick it in.
Oh, well, thanks for subscribing, Ian Webb. Welcome. Consistently terrible. Hello, can't debate. Too hot. It's race essentials is the is what I'm running in the middle. You can get it off the Assetto Corsa for it. No, we've never done with hot lap. It's, it's been good fun. It's nice and chill. It's been fun learning uh, how to drive all the different cars quickly.
haven't done them yet. Which the hot lapping is the hardest stuff, so we're doing that first. Laser Stonkers. Yeah, I like this track. Not a big fan of this car, but we've done it. We've done it. Beautiful. Whoops. It's an outer body. There we go. That was nice. Should we have a little look at the replay of that? Guys, thank you. Woo! Yeah, the off, the off track. Uh, it's in there, all of them. Uh, Project Cars 2, uh, AC, or all of them have like. imola has got like the worst track cut rules. Uh, there is a there is a mod that um, you can get that shows the medals, but for some reason it's not working for me. Um, on sorry, I'm thinking about getting the R12. Do I recommend it? Yeah, it's really good. I've got an affiliate link. Um, people people uh, often say the Sim Magic's better than Moza stuff, but I've I've been using this solidly for like three months. It's been great. Quick release is nice. Wheel rims are really nice. This wheel's a bit heavy, but I think they do a slightly lighter one. But this wheel, it feels good. It's, it's really good bit of equipment. I mean, you've seen me do 16-hour live streams without any issues, so. Yeah, we obviously did that kind of debate. It's, for some reason, it just doesn't show up. should be called, like, medals. But it's not... Uh I don't know why it's not showing up. For some reason, it doesn't. <laughs> don't know why. We installed it. You've been thinking about it in the Mozart 12. Yeah, it's really, it's really good. Genuinely, really good. I haven't got anything to fault with it. I mean, the software's, the software's got some jingles in it. You know, like Chinese English. It don't make any sense. Um, but like, I, I don't really use the software. It's a bit. So it's a little bit annoying 
Well, it updates the wheels and stuff and everything, but like the. Um, I mean, I don't really change the settings on the wheel, to be honest. I don't know why people faff around with wheel settings so much, because at the end of the day, you can't fix driving sims force feedback. My, the, my, what I normally do is I turn down really high frequency vibrations because they're useless and unrealistic, and uh, that's about it. And then, and then what you do is you add a bit of damper. If the wheel's too overactive for the strength of the car that you're doing, just add a bit of damper. Normally you do that in the game, and that way it's always per car. <laughs> Done. That's all you need to do with force feedback wheels. Strength, bit of damper. Uh... Turning the high frequency effects down. I'll show you. But yeah, I mean, I don't even open the software. <laughs> to be honest, I, d I don't know. I really don't know what's going on with people that are doing fid like, oh, I've got these really good settings. I'm like, what on earth are you guys doing? I, I, I say this as someone that's used. I have used like professional sim rigs set up by other people for professional use. And they're worse than my sim rig, so you know they often just have too like shitloads of damper or like God knows what, you know, um, or they're just like so they set them up really strong, really really heavy. Which fair enough. I mean, maybe they got data that are X real car is super heavy. Uh, I don't actually think that's the case, but um, yeah. This is like you. The thing is. You can't, um, you can't fix a Sims Force feedback with a Force feedback wheel. Now, uh, the Sim Experience AccuForce wheel, you can set your own Force feedback up with that. But even then, you're kind of better off, like you're better off using the Sims Force feedback for the most part, cause due to, oh, it's not. See the see the software's not loading for some reason. Oh, it is, but it's oh here we are. yeah. Be, see, the software can be a bit weird. It's not responding, even though the wheel's on. Okay. Yeah. But I don't normally change any of the settings. Oh, now look what you've done. You made, you made me break it. <laughs> Here we go, it's loading. Right. So in terms of wheel settings, um, so I've got the force feedback set. To, I've got it turned down to seventy. That's mostly because in iRacing with IRFFB, uh, if you have the high the force feedback of your wheelbase set uh, lower, it means that if you get a sudden jolt, it's not going to be super strong. Um, like if someone drives into you. Uh, there, there's other ways of filtering that as well but then um, all you do is you just uh, so you just turn down these settings here so it uh, this is filtering out these like 100 hertz vibrations basically everything else is just normal Uh, I don't know, I've never used them, but from what I've heard, they're, they're all right. Um, yeah, the, the other setting you can use, you can you can set a maximum wheel speed if you wanted to. Uh, and then you could, there's a, you could set a bit of damper on the wheel if you wanted to. Where is it? There's a, there's, there is a uh, setting Oh, you can have a hands-off protection, so if the wheel starts oscillating, it'll turn off, but that's a bit finicky with this wheel. Uh, yeah, here, here we go. So, rather than using this, I could put this to 100... And then supposedly I could set this lower so that the wheel has full access to the strength, but then this cl uh, clamps it. So if there's a sudden jolt, it, it won't do stuff. I don't know how well this works. 
I try to turn that down to 70. <laughs> it's fine though, like it's totally like the R12 is a wheelbase. is It's fine. I, I say this is someone that's got. I've used OSW, Sim Experience, Fanatec, DD Podium, and the CSL DD. So it's all it's all fine. <laughs> it's all fine. Hello, Daniel Merchant. You know, it's down to the Sims having decent force feedback. Um, well, I didn't buy the wheel. Moses sent it to me. Uh, I think they paid import on it. I don't know how much they paid. Yeah, they, they'll have paid it because I'll have said I don't want it. <laughs> That's how bad I am as a YouTuber. When companies send me like nice equipment to uh, use with Mozo, they just I just said oh I didn't want to review anything because um, I have too much stuff. Uh, but I said I was interested in using it on live streams for a bit just to try it out so I know about it and they were like oh fine so then they, that's why they sent it to me that's, they didn't even ask for anything no contract I did tell them loads of useful stuff when I met up with them at uh, Gamescom so you know I guess lots of people see it so It's pretty solid, I think. I mean, I don't know if they, they may be... So the thing is, when companies send influencers stuff, that sometimes they will check what they're sending the influencer to make sure that they don't send them something broken. So that an influencer will quite likely get something that's... Well, be less likely to get something that's accidentally broken, if that makes sense, because they normally... You could tell sometimes when I've been sent stuff, companies have taken it out of the box and they've double checked everything tested it and then put it back in the box <laughs> and they've not just sent it for the factory i think moses sent this straight from the factory though it, did, it didn't look like it was a checked unit <laughs> so it's funny what companies do i mean don't blame them i think i'd do that if i was sending stuff to influencers but yeah i mean i don't use any of this launcher stuff I don't don't use any of these other settings. I could I should probably put a bit of damper on because it is overactive in AC. But I'd just use the in-game settings to be honest. It's a shame that this doesn't um, that you can't um, you can't move. Uh, oh, maybe you can now. You didn't used to be able to move some of these. Yeah, oh, you, what you kind of want is to be able to put more points here. Oh, no, you can move them around now. Yeah, they, they've updated this. You used to have issues where you couldn't move it around. That's quite interesting. So, in theory, you can amplify uh, specific parts of the game's force feedback. So lower frequency. Um, no, no, I tried cat debate. It didn't work for whatever reason. It might no, it might have been just this one. Is that the no? It's, it's probably just this because you. Yeah, it, I think it was this one. Basically, the forces that relate to tire slip a low frequency so like it's something you're constantly pushing against and then as a tire you know as the forces change it's like a, it's something that happens less than 10 hertz less than 20 hertz whatever um that's normally where the more important detail is in terms of feeling what the car's doing um but uh yeah if it's not there in the game it's not there in the game Last time I messed with this, it ended up just feeling wonky when you changed it.
Yeah, so, so this is just... So, yeah, what you need, really, mm. is for this to be further to the left here. Um, to be able to adjust more stuff over here. It's really weird that they've, like, done this, right? But the, you don't need any of this control here. Like, anything past, like, here is pointless. You, you need good control of this. Um... The thing with this is, this will amplify stuff, but it it's um, it then causes other things to be one thing to be less amplified, one thing to be more amplified, and you end up with like really weird behaviour from the wheel when you mess around with it. Yeah, I, I spent like £400, £300 on the Sparco seat and that was with a discount from uh, um, SimLab gave me a discount on it. So I, would, I wouldn't buy the Sparco seat. It's not worth it. Right, anyway, let's... Uh, oh, we've got to do the Highlands one. 2 minute 20. What would I buy? Um, I'd I'd get a car seat from uh, from a from a old car, or maybe like something with leg su support. I don't know. Maybe I'd go to like uh, just oh no, the uh, seat I have behind me. See the rig behind me. I've got a uh, sort of formula seat in that G GTF one type seat. I don't know what it is. It's like a the I tell you what the Sabelt formula seat's really nice. <laughs> That's really really nice seat. Monty, what's my big hope physics wise? Uh, similar to AC one, but with the curbing fixed and maybe more snappy, but still like controllable and nice force feedback detail. But, I mean, AC one is incredible to be honest. Nothing, nothing else apart from apart from Automobilista one. Nothing else is, uh... What's wrong with Kirby? It's very slippy in AC. It is in AMS1, actually, as well. It's to do with, like, the, uh, where the way the tyre model calculates when it's on the kerb or not, supposedly. That's what, that's what people say. Um... Yeah, it's a nice, nice car. No, because AMS two is not very good, so I don't, I, there's no point. I did try the new cars. Yeah, they're they're rubbish. <laughs> they're really not good. Everything's so sloppy in that. I, d I just... It's not bad as a game, but, like, if you're used to playing... If you played AMS 1 or AC, AMS 2 is just so sloppy. It's, everything's slow motion. It's not. It's really not compelling to drive. Right. Oh, it's a bit foggy. <laughs> Britsin, what we're going right.
Never driven this layout. Ow! Blister. What is this layout? This is a bloody maze. This is going to be so hard. Oh, it's a track car. Bit harsh. I'd say 12 newton meters is like if you if you drive with a formula rim 8 newton meters is enough but if you wanted like a DD that's strong enough that you're never going to want to upgrade it 12 newton meters is probably enough for most people I, if I had them, if if uh, I'd rather personally, I would. Uh, if I was on a desk, eight newton meters is fine. But if I had a sim rig, I'd get twelve newton meter minimum. Minimums. Uh, using this Moser wheel, I've never really. I, I mean, I normally turn the force wheel back down anyway. But I've, ne I've never really been like, oh, I really regret not having high newton meters. If you're if you've got a real race car and you you're trying to your training as well, then it's worth having higher strength just to keep your arms like so it matches with your real car. But like for, for sim racing, there's no real point. 
Especially with the newer DDs that have really good dynamic range uh, at lower strengths. Some of the old DDs you had to like put a lot of electricity into them to get good um, dynamic range out of them. A wall. It's alright, it's only a Toyota. Bridge <laughs> <laughs> Racer! Uh, it's, it's a lot weaker, but the 8 Nm CSL DD, uh, CSL DD, if you're using it with like a a formula rim or like the WRC wheel rim or light lighter wheel rims it's fine the Moser R12 you can use it with quite heavy wheel rims oh my goodness we'll keep doing that that's the advantage of a stronger wheel base is that when you put heavier wheel rims which can feel quite nice can feel quite nice having a heavier heavier wheel rim and when you when you have a heavier wheel rim if you don't have a stronger wheel base the inertia of the wheel makes it feel less detailed like this the wheel rim I've got here on this this uh, the, on the wheel now is quite heavy I don't know why they make <laughs> I don't think they do a lighter wheel it's a bit weird like they should do a lighter one but it's quite uh, heavier wheel rims do feel make it feel more realistic like the inertia that you get from a heavier wheel rim in some ways feels a bit like a real car wheel time did they have to get? Let's just keep bouncing off this wall. It's a new. It's, the, it's how you do it. It's the racing line. It feels like a Sega Rally level. Sega Rally. G A M. E R Game over, yeah. <laughs> Game over, yeah.
horses in our car in. Man, this is going to be a hard one. Fog really helps. Really, really helps. bronze something oh this is so hard Rally car, it can take it. Corner's almost flat out. It's very hard to remember which corner's coming up when you can't bloody see them. <laughs>
Uh, see, the viewers are confused as the UI shows nothing about timers or medals. Well, that's that's life. Life is confusion. Yeah, because the, the, there, there's a mod, but it's not working. Okay, let's go. Beautiful. Let's have an update of the progress here. I'm half tempted to cut the other side of other half of my pizza. Can this challenge be done without sleep? Well, apparently. Oh, back to Velalunga, but it's in a nice car. Let's have a sit rep. 42. Oh, man, we're, we're going to approach halfway through the game, and these hot laps are the hardest thing, so. It's pretty good. It's been, uh, it's been really fun. That's what I keep telling myself. <laughs> Denial. I don't think a lot of people realise how good uh, some of the hot lap challenges are. It's like a, if you like driving, having the target, some of them are quite good. Woo! Do it the old-fashioned way, but then I'd have to type it every single bloody time. Okay, 133.3. By the way, reminder, guys, if you're on YouTube, if you click the like button, I appreciate that. If you want to sponsor the challenge, uh, five of whatever your currency is, and your name goes on the uh, challenge sponsor list or whatever you want on there, as long as it's not rude. Um... Become a member if you want to support us, or uh, just bang your head with a brick, or just hang around. Appreciate it. Right. Uh, copy. Paste duplicate. So now I have to type this in every time. 1.33.3 Are you happy? Are you happy? This is the, like you're making me work. I can't believe it. I don't have a gold medal. There you go. Are you happy? Bloody hell. Yeah, <laughs> just for... I mean, that is kind of what... Get, like, you know, people get go-kart trophies and stuff. And it is kind of like, well... It is like, well, uh... You know, you get them for like, you're not exactly beating the world's fastest go karters are you? I mean, so you are if you're doing national go karting but you know, it's, I never really understood the whole trophy thing. It's because I never got a trophy, so I'm just jealous. I get participation badges, that was it. I just got an empty UK. Pineapple and ham. It's like a bloody road car. Richard Mile! Do you think his cousin's called Richard Kilometre? His French cousin. Right, here we go. Vela Lunga time. I don't think I've ever driven this car. That's quite nice for feedback. I 
and we rip the wheel off. Oh, he's got DRS. Oh, shit, I haven't bound it. Oh, we need to rebind DRS. What on earth is this car? Never driven this before. Do the DRS button. Hello, Newland. Yeah. Oh, this car's quite nice. P1 GTR 15. Never seen this before. Do you think, Lorenzo, I could get in trouble if I got a projector played iRacing on the neighbour's front of the house? You could do that. I borrowed a projector from my uh, mum's work. She was a teacher. And I was playing uh, Operation Flashpoint on it and, the, and it blew up. <laughs> and so she had to take it back to school and be like, oh, the bulb broke. And it's like, yeah, the bulb broke because I was playing Operation Flashpoint flying the helicopter around the island for like, 10 hours <laughs> that's that's why the bowl broke because uh, yeah I mean Operation Flashpoint flying helicopters around pretty good pretty good time with the projector pretty good fun well worth the £300 projector bulb yeah Operation Flashpoint was so far ahead of its time like I remember going around to a friend's house and we created a little network and we set the whole island up to have like loads of enemies on it and then we like uh did like a whole mission flying a chinookin and then commanding loads of soldiers and uh, it was awesome do you remember delta force 2 as well i remember playing that on 56k on i used to play on a laptop like <laughs> the terrain delta force 2 the terrain looks so bad it was by Nerva Logic, wasn't it? So Delta Force used um, Delta Force used the graphics engine was from one of their flight simulators, but then they turned it into an FPS. So th I think it was voxel based as well. It was really weird, pretty cool, but weird. Oh, we can do this easy anyway. Save that. I really want to play Rainbow Six again, actually, and SWAT and stuff. Um, so I never completed it. Uh, projectors aren't that good for sim racing, no. Like, the newer ones that can do 120 hertz are a little bit better, but normally they're a bit washed out. They're, they're really not that good. You, you get, um, so a lot of the projectors now that have had faster frame rate use colour wheels. If you get a DLP projector, which works by shining lasers onto a chip, those those can work quite well. But it's normally the really expensive DLP projectors, but generally projectors are just worse than screens. Getting this, this beast. It's a nice car. Uh, 
uh, yeah, short throw laser projector quite good. I actually, I, I have a projector in my sitting room for watching films. And it's really good, but it's just a shitty one. It's quite old. Oh, the DRS doesn't really work. Oh, it works when you're at a certain speed. Okay. That not a track cut. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, you get that uh, directional film screens that are really good. This car's really fun. It's mental. <laughs> this car's insane. This is fantastic. Yeah, this would be good to do a lap of the Nordschleife. Five tenths. Yeah, understeer through there. When do we start with TC off? Do we have TC? Right, put it on four.
I wonder if this car has an air fryer in it. Perfect vehicle if it does. Brakes aren't that good on this. Probably because we're going very fast. <laughs> Probably need to go a bit slower for the brakes to work better. It's a spaceship, this.
work on this car. He's automatic or just don't seem to work consistently. get this eventually A nice, nice car to drive. Let's have a look at the replay. Absolute. <laughs> look how fast he's going! Oh dear, ridiculous. Yeah, that's a ridiculous car. No, absolute rocket shit. <laughs> Look at it go! 
looks ridiculous. It's like a, it's like a, this would be, if this came out now, it'd be like a hypercar, wouldn't it? An absolutely ridiculous car. Can you imagine the G-forces? It super hooks up on the throttle as well. Game changing. Yeah, we could add this to the uh, car the list. Of the Monty, thank Mental you. On wheels. Mental on wheels. Thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, we Twitch Prime, really appreciate that. Monty in the house. Have a nice easy one next. Brands Hatch 42.9. Completa Teta Tony. Oh, thanks, Cat Debate. Wow, he's he's being useful. Can we get a ban on him being useful? Uh, what do we need to get here? Hot lap. One twenty-five. This should be easy. Audi Sport. Pirelli. Is it a Porsche? Is it a Lamborghini? Is it an Audi? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> 